Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Tuesday afternoon? Well, I hope. Last week, we finished up going under. We actually managed to put that thing to bed. We uh, defeated the evil AI that had taken over the world and was planning on stealing literal souls out of the human bodies. Uh, as such, uh, we burnt the world down and danced as it burned. It was quite an ending. You should go check it out. Uh, YouTube repository, Raven Hillbrook Inc. Uh, Hillbrook is one word, I-N-C, over there. Links in chat and on the info page. Well, in chat shortly, but on the info page. Uh, as we finish that up, though, it is time we start our new thing. And that new thing is Cloud Punk. I've been holding on to this for a while. Very excited to try it. I've had to keep slapping my hand off of the you know keyboard to not play it in my downtime. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think all I did was start it up just enough so that I could adjust the settings. But I haven't actually started it. Not proper, anyway. I don't know. Audio is a thing, people. It's a hard thing to do. Okay. Okay, okay. What do we... How's the sound on that? Play. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Quality. Uh -huh. Yes. No. Can I turn that up? Oh, I can't. Uh, you know what? Well, that's probably fine. Lock mouse. Run in background. Okay. I don't. Hmm. Calling accuracy. Calling prediction. Okay. Off. Bloom is on. Audio setup. Stereo. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies, intro subscribed at tier one. Let's subscribe for two months. Thank you, ladies, intro. <laughs> I guess that's one way of giving me a, a, a bonus, eh? Off, like on the record, but off the record. But yeah, how, how's the audio sounding? Is it sounding okay? I can turn it up a bit, just a smidge. Audio is good. Okay, I won't play with audio too much then. Okay. Hopefully, graphics-wise, everything is good. Um, I'm assuming they're gonna teach me stuff with like some sort of tutorial. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to activate a thing. Can we just give me, give me, give me just a, ah, there I am. Okay. All right. Had to turn that off for the immersive, aka no face cam horror streams on Saturday. Cry of fear is very interesting. Very excited though. Oh, okay. Little China. Okay, left and right. Accelerate. Left and right. Brake. Space is ascend and left shift is descent. Ooh, okay. Awesome. So it's basically a helicopter. Control, come in. This is. Wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver of 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? Whoa. Okay. No, my name is Rania. No, oh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who is Carmine? He was driver 14FB. What happened to him? He, he retired last month. Good for him. Not really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash oh, last hi, what's week. Up? Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, you won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your hava? Okay, I guess. I read your references. You're a good driver, but navigating a hava around Novalis isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Now, this city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Remember, you're not driving an old internal combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. Okay, so I needed to go uh, the other direction. One more thing, 14FC. Welcome to Cloudpunk. Cool, thanks. Seems like it has some natural anti-crashing... Like 
vehicle vehicular crashing um, devices in place, but I don't know how good they are. I'm also seeing a lot of icons on the on the mini map, which is interesting. Also, I have no idea what is and isn't a flying path, so hopefully I don't get a ticket. Cardinal, welcome. How you doing? I believe you mentioned that uh, you've actually seen someone play through this before, or have played it yourself, correct? E. Okay, fantastic. Did you have a good weekend? way. I, don't, I can't seem to figure out any way to drift yet, but... Boy, is this... Is this... Something? Okay, I can go through this. I wasn't sure if I could actually go through that or not. Okay, so, yeah. Shift. Descend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I just park it in here? This seems safe. Except I can't... I realize now I can't actually, like, go left. I have to, like, steer it more like a vehicle. I watched most of the Battle Chans playthrough, and yeah, I had a pretty good weekend. Did 25 miles across the bike and elliptical on Saturday and just rested Sunday. Yes, I remember you talking about that. You're getting in shape for... Oh, interesting. So it's got a zoomed out view and then an actual, like, stationary cam for, like, a 2D thing almost. Well, that's very interesting. And I can walk? Okay. Safeguard immunizations. Everything your baby it's a gang member. From disease prevention to neural Is that a bed? Protection. Maybe PRT. Physical readiness test. Right. There you go. Wow, it's like you... Okay, I'm not going to do that yet, just because I don't know what that means. And I don't want to get into a weird middle of a mission when I'm in the middle of the mission. We also have Warrior Day this Friday. Oh, that sounds interesting. Where's that? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Be careful down there. It's busy, and it's a maze. Not exactly the rich part of town kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. Okay, here we go. Carmenus was a great driver. He got big boots to fill. He flew delivery for over 10 years, you know? How about the driver before him? 14 FA? <laughs> Lasted one night. Yeah. Most drivers only last one night. Oh, gotta hit him. They quit the job? One way or another. Yeah, you seem like a nice kid, 14 FC. I hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. What's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery, and don't ask what's in the package. <laughs> Everything else is just guidelines. <laughs> okay. As long as the police don't start giving me tickets for flying off the, like, road or whatever, we're good. Ica, welcome! So wait, you can't, okay, Cardinal, you can't drop. How's it going? I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I hope you had a, a good day. But yeah, Cardinal, you can't drop Warrior Day and not explain Warrior Day. That sounds cool. Excuse me. Hey, uh, 14 FC, are you there? I just remembered I didn't talk to you about the Ascenders. I think I know how they work, Control. You do? They go up, and also down, right? Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. It's about vert ceilings. Not those again. Say again, 14 FC. Oh, come Sorry, on. Sorry, just making a that's on him. joke. Go ahead, Control. Hoppers are tuned to a vertical field frequency, based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. That's why oh, you okay. need the ascenders. They take you up or down the layer, and as they carry you, they reset your Hava's field frequency. They reset the vertical ceiling and floor. 
But half his fly just Rain straight drop the convo for some reason. Oh, you're good. I just I need that lore. That sounds awesome. Vert fields. That's true. Your hopper will fly fine in areas without the fields. Even in old ruined parts of the city that are off the grid. But the grid holds everything together in the city. Tracks you, gives you access to the nets, the comm, the mapping systems, the reserve power if your engine stalls. And it stops us just flying straight up to the spire too, right? <laughs> That's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs up there anyway. You might be surprised, kid. All right, let's go. I'm good. I finished my second arc of my story. Nice. So much progress. Oh, that's a... <laughs> that's a... That's a... Big Sir. Look at this guy. Oh, we can zoom into first person mode? Oh my god, really? Where day is a thing? My third arc... Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta do this in order. I gotta drop this off before I, like, lose money or something, but... My third arc is probably going to be the shortest, but probably the most important, filled with character building. Hmm, character building. Oh, thank God. This will change everything. Where do I sign? Right here, Mr. Carva. G please, call me Irwin. It's from my parents. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I, I thought it would be in cash. Limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. Wow. That way, you don't pay so much city tax on the transfers. Can I take that now? Sure. Here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. Y you want to see what's inside? I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? Oh, God. Tell me you it's a bill. Think, I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Two augments. No expense spared. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. It's all just a blur. Let's see. Just rip here and... Oh. What is it? Gold? It's... Old toys. My ship models. The R7 ICBM. And Sputnik. The NASA shuttles. The UN Interplanetary 101. Why did they send these? It must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, let's see. Dear Irwin, we know these toys were important to you at one time. We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Why? Why are you assaulting me? Get away from me, weirdo. Okay, let's see. Uh, fill arc with character building. Right. Well, your day is a thing. The Miller does that's supposed to be at least once a year. Basically, everyone has on base gets together on the fields and do different things. Tug of war, dodgeball, flag football. Good oh. job, kid. I looked at All right. your profile. It says if you don't volunteer to something, you have to do the 5K run. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Navalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. Oh, you're right. It's not easy to break out in Navalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. So what about if I go sure out you this will, way? Kid. Just try making it through tonight first. We need you to head up to the mercantile district. You're moving up in the world. What's the job? Same as always. Take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse. B is a penthouse. Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. 
How's this? Is this working okay? So it seems like, yeah, specifically third person. Okay, maybe what I should do then. Because, I mean, I'm running this at, like, maxed everything. Uh, okay, so that's all. So maybe just drop this down to, like, a medium. How's that? Hopefully that will fix it. Things will run a little better. I just being on the viewer end, I think it happens mainly when there is a lot to render. Yeah, I've got my side computer going on my backup account. Seeing how much lag we're getting. Does this seem better? I'm not seeing much lag on the on it. I know um, Twitch has some issues with like what is it, like lots of vertical the stalls area seem to lag the most really weird yeah because I don't hmm I don't know we'll have to see all right well, let's go do this oh wrong button Whoop. oh right 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 load hova AI load assistant load computer helper do you want to activate the generic automata <laughs> yes, that's the one. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not sir. My name is Rania. How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? I'm not a mister. Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic automata. Would you like to upgrade to my limited offer monthly subscription premium mode? No. <laughs> Not here, between here and the delivery destination. Okay, weird. Now, just how much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on storage media? I do. Then the transfer cost to unlock the automata Ooh. is 1,500 limbs, sir. How would you like to pay? Direct transfer. Please insert storage media. This must be like my Transport favorite AI process. if I'm paying this much for Automata that. Automata personality camis will be activated in approximately 20 minutes. Would you like to deactivate the generic Automata personality now? Yes. Deactivating. Please enjoy your new Automata. Good um. day, Mr. Rania. Oh, is this a parking lot? Or is this just... Is there a... Oh, wait. Okay, so that's... I can drift left. Oh, I can go into first person in the car? Oh, snap, yo. I guess I have to find a parking spot. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I turned things down to medium. Hopefully that helps. Like I was saying, some of the... I know... Twitch has some issue when there's a lot of, like, generic, like, fuzz going over the front of the screen. I know that's a known issue, so maybe that's the problem. Hopefully turning it down is going to help. But yeah, uh, Cardinal. 5K five, five is not too bad. I used to run 5Ks on Sundays. punch card. It's covered in holes. They seem random, but there's a pattern. The card itself is heavy and thick. Looks like it could survive a bomb blast. My old flute. I don't want that right now. Blue flower. A dried flower from the eastern peninsula. I used this as a bent bookmark when I was back home, but I hardly remember anymore. I should throw this away, but when I think about it, going into a trash can here in Nivalis, something feels wrong. I can't let it go. Okay. Is this any better? Yes, no, maybe so. Store room. You the delivery driver? Yes, I'm from Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk? All right, here's the package. Don't open it, don't ask me about it, and don't be late. And before you ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. 
Okay, thanks. Is this real meat? What did I just say? <laughs> She's too curious for her own good. Come in, 14FC. How are you handling the Hava so far? Hello, this is 14FC. Yes, everything is totally fine. Relax, kid. You'll get the hang of it. What's giving you the most trouble? The traffic? Yeah, and how fast everyone drives. They all know exactly where they're going. You'll be that fast once you get your bearings. Faster, even. Just remember, the highways channel an induction loop through your Hava. Right. It's pretty simple. When you're on the highways, it's like the road is moving under you. You'll get a big speed boost. Use the highways to get oh as close to your destination as you can, and then cut off when you're close. I can only park in the bays, right? That's right. Havas aren't meant to touch the ground. Oh. The repulsors on the parking bays keep the undercarriage a few centimeters off the ground. It's not just a technical restriction. Corpsec defines the parking around the city to maximize traffic flow. I guess that's a good thing for us. And them too. And there's only about two miles, give or take, but personally, I would rather just do a dodgeball match than run the 5K. Fair. That's fair. Seize up the wheels of commerce. If Corpsec have one priority, it's making sure business continues as usual. I'm seeing lots of beds, which is, I find interesting. These may cut you off. Upper Midtown. Uh, I guess. I need to find a parking spot? Tell wait a minute, is it above me then? How do I know Like you need a better like you need a more 3D camera on this To know where you can and can't fly up? Oh there we go, there's one. Okay, now that kicked in. I keep wanting to do control to, to lower. Like I'm crouching, but. Yeah, but in my story, my protag just killed the first villain after they surrendered and basically lost all will to live. Then he realizes he felt absolutely nothing after killing the first villain and realizes this wasn't his first time he killed someone. Also learns a lot about the strangeness of how he ended up in this world. Oh, okay. Yeah, that seems like quite a bit of character growth. And he didn't get tortured this time, it doesn't sound like. So that's pro progress, right? But yeah, is the lag better? Pick up this other thing that looks like a newspaper. How do I go about getting over there, though? This is the closest parking spot, but I'm sort of far away. Talk to the food vendor. I'm guessing that little orange square below Midtown and above the map is like fuel, maybe? Oh, I can't go this way. What? Traffic Hold on. How am I? One, two, four, six, and eight. Uh, so wait, do I need to... I guess I need to specifically park on that side. Oh, wrong direction. There we go. Well, he died at the start of this chapter, but he got better. 
either dying or getting healed or suffering through the pain of like his entire skeleton being broken. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, that's some growth, yeah. That's a weird looking Roomba. I don't know how I feel about that Roomba. Hollow cash. Oh, I guess I can go get loans? Yeah, or I guess it's a bank maybe. Probably a good idea not to carry too much money on you at any given moment when you're doing delivery stuff, you know, for the muggings. Tis a butler. I have your delivery. Give it here. It says I'm to deliver to Mr. De Beer. That's my employer. Give it to me this instant. Hey, street rat, has this been tampered with? What? No. Good. Most drivers ask what's in the package. Hmm. The smell makes them curious. What's in the package? <laughs> Dinner. Meat. From which animal? What a strange question. Good day. So was he a robot or does he just have like facial enhancements? I think we know. Yeah, no, it's pretty clear. Was this a pizza place? Oh no, it's like a gambling hall, but also food. Interesting, okay. So gambling is probably more legal now, generally speaking. You or anyone you know has augmented... 14 FC, are you back in Midtown yet? Look kid, we messed up. We need you to get through a CorpSec security checkpoint. Now, you've never been scanned by CorpSec. We just paid to wipe your record, so we need them to hold a clean file on you. They won't recognize me? <laughs> Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, one more thing, kid. You need to go through on foot. So don't look suspicious. Or act suspicious. Oh. And don't mention Cloudpunk. Or me. What? All right. Wow, this is going to be much harder than I was expecting. Doing it in first person like this. Yeah, hyper suspicious. Where is my... I need my camera. Okay. Thank you. Why was that so difficult? I hope I can get some upgrades for my vehicle. Why did it... All right, whatever. I parked the way I parked for a reason. The low club. Girls, girls, girls. We can't go inside. Not a real establishment. V space. Which actually looks more like a grocery store. Okay. Corpse sec guard. Hold up, lady. Let's see either your citizen license or your voluntary contribution. I wish you people would just call them bribes. What's that? Nothing, officer. Here's my details. <laughs> okay. I just have to create a new record for you and then hold please. Oh, it's the gate. Message in my earpiece. Yes, Agent Rio. No, sir. Her name is Ronnie. There's something about these wobbly uh, gates like this? I don't think so, sir. Yes, sir. I'll ask her. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if I think she's lying. Ma'am, are you now or have you at any time been a part of the illicit delivery service known as Cloudpunk? Never heard of them. Hold, please. Yes, sir. She says she's never heard of them. I believe her, sir. Okay, sir, I'll let her through. And I'll... She can hear me. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Yep. Okay, then. I'll do that. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, miss, you can go. Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our server said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Wanna play us some music? Maybe another time. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, it's always the f the fancy lights. I don't know what it is about fancy lights that just tanks, absolutely tanks it, but. Oh, is it lagging some more now? I guess I'm gonna have to like, look down the street, uh, this one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. 
That's tanking it real hard. Hmm. Okay, okay, wait. So there is options here. Hold on. Um, can I do anything while I'm live? What I can maybe do. Oh, I'm already at 720. Never mind. I guess I'll, yeah, I'll just have to turn it, turn it down. It's not the fancy lights this time, no. All right, let's go to uh, simple, medium, or high. Okay. I wish there was a little bit more, a little bit more, actually, maybe I can turn the frame rate down. Full screen. A little bit more options in the quality here. How does this look now that I turned it down to like 50? Oh, that's actually okay. Does that look okay? I turn it down to 50. Smooth. Smudge. Smudge. Okay, what about going this way? Towards the fancy lights. It's good. Okay, so that's what it is. I just had the 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 frame rate was too high. <laughs> Got it. Okay. All right. So, return to your vehicle. Okay, that's all I'm doing now. Now that I've verified that my job is not the job I have at all in any way shape or form, I'm actually a flute player. Your automata custom personality is ready for instantiation. Nice. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yeah. Yes, please. Did you see last post about my story? The one about where they Camus, they they there? died and came back and got it's better? You. I missed you. Oh my How god, it's a you? dog, really? Happy. Why am I? Feels strange. You've been loaded into my vehicle's automata slot. Oh. Sorry, Camus. This is all I can afford right now. I was a bad dog? No, oh, my you lord. you were the best, Camus. I am just a hova now. Not as good. I know, I know. We'll get you a new body, I promise. It will just take a while. I have a new job. You don't play music anymore? I like music. Me too, Camus, but we need money. We lost the house. I had to move us to Novalis. Oh, no. We hate the city. We did. Maybe it's not so bad now. I'm doing deliveries. We are doing deliveries. Uh, so I am helping. Yeah, we're a team, right? Uh, so it's help. not the fancy lights. No, no, it's not the fancy not lights. So it's the frame rate good, thing. Though. I am sleepy now. It's the uh, or the smooge, which it's is, you know, smooth, limited, but with a J instead of an H. Clock cycle, so you might need to take it easy for a while. Don't understand. Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded, but that's not supported with the hardware we have. Uh... That means it might take you a bit longer to figure things out, but you'll get there. I'm sleepy. Okay, rest for now, Camus. I'll bring you online soon. And Camus, I missed you too. Achievement unlocked, old friends. Okay. Y'all have, yes. Oh, and ladies, intro banned another bot. Nat Zelly. Oh, not peanuts. We sent someone else. We need you to, damn it. Sorry, we need you to pick up a package from Kimuria Heights. It's a residential zone. I'm sending a nav point now. Okay, on my way. Wait, 14 FC. Is there a problem? No, never mind. Good this is a road. I think this is a road. Coming in hot! And there we go. Now my protagonist has spent the remaining few chapters of the first book wondering who killed who he killed while the city celebrates him as a hero that he de Emily does not feel like. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. I like that. The lady's entered with a bonk. Hey, you know that thing about not reading your phone while you're driving? Guess what I'm going to be doing a lot of in this module. Okay, so I think I'm good. 
good. Maybe make a left up here. This will take us off the road. And it was saying that if you're on the road, you go faster, right? So you should stick to the roads where available. Okay. Okay, looks like there's parking over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good. Oh, come on, they can't even give me a crosshair to give me a rough estimation of where my vehicle's at in comparison. Target. All right. But yeah, no, that sounds like a that sounds like a really good character moment that isn't any violence based. Um, I don't know what these do yet, but I'm picking them anyway. How? Where does this? Okay, it's like, does this actually lead me to something? But it does. Okay. Random storage room. Control, I'm at the destination and no one is here. Control, Camus, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. Excited. Want to help. Can you scan the area? Local scan. Look for ID chips on possible delivery containers. I don't know how. Wait. I know how. <laughs> I think. What is box? A box is a square cube. Well, no, oh, that's a cloud. What is that box? It's right there. Okay, I see it. I guess that's the package then. Why is no one here? I have bad feelings. Me too, Camus. Oh, we're getting in way over our heads already. First day. Not all violence. I've got to have emotional trauma too. Yeah, that's fair. Here's the box of your vehicle. Okay. Now where are we going? I hear noise. What noise, Camus? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh, it's a bomb. From the package. I hear it too. I still have bad feelings. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, this is driver 14FC. Come in, this is important. Driver 14FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. Control, why is this package ticking? No one should have to do it. No one should have to the bomb. Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. I've been informed that you're to stop calling us about the package. Deliver it quickly. That is all, please. No more communication until delivery. Camus, I don't know what to do. I am nervous. Why? I am nervous because you are nervous. Maybe we can throw away the TikTok. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Maybe I could dump it at the trash chute in Section 8B. That sends it into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Okay. Nothing ever comes back from there. Will Mr. Control be mad? Yes, but... I get a bad feeling too, Camus. I think it will be bad either way. I want to help, but don't know what to do. I know, Camus. I know. I just have to make a call on this one. Yeah, we're dropping the bomb off where it goes. We're doing illicit package delivery full of illegal items. Why are you suddenly having moral issues? OSR, welcome! You actually probably you fit in a little well with this. It's a dystopian future where we work for an illegal package delivery company. Lots of AIs running around here. My last several, my last several chapters were violent since it was building up to the action and climax. Well, yeah, no, no, I know why you're doing it. I get it. You're doing proper build up. Okay, now we gotta go up. Going up. Oh, that's t oh, it's stuck in it's stuck in. I yeah yeah wait wait no go up go up go up go up park 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 the vehicle please. <laughs> the bomb explodes and suddenly it's it's infamous. Yeah. Party? Why are we partying? Because it's the future and that's what we do in the future is party. Oh, was this? The I guess it was nothing. We did our job, Camus. We shouldn't ask so many questions. I am not sure. 
You want to say something? If it is okay? Sure. Is this a job good? It pays good. Are we doing good things? No more questions, please, Chemis. Okay. Two roads diverged. Do you know how that module goes? What do you mean? Oh, Infamous? Yeah, I played through the first Infamous. I don't think... Did I play through the second one? I take that back. I think I played through both of them. The first, the first two. I didn't get the third one. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Is there anything you want to tell me about that last job? No, nothing. All right. Well... I'm just glad it went okay. For your next plausible delivery, deniability, basically. Proceed to the following nav point to collect a package at Life Corp Industries. You'll need to find a way up to the roof of the building. Our client didn't leave us an access code, but um, well, you're a smart kid. You'll think of something. Control out. Oh my God, this is as this is as shady as it gets. We're basically doing shadow running, but in a delivery truck. Plausible deniability. Yeah, basically. I hope these beats aren't um, copyrighted. I really don't want to turn the music off. I gotta get used to what button is up and which button is down. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just steal control like that. Uh, okay. Um, what do we got? Uh, I appreciate being smart and all, but I also just need to, oh wait, I think there's one this way? Oh yeah, there we go. Invincible was my one of my favorite modules. Don't like the second as much. Never played second son. That's fair. Okay, so yeah, I remember the second one. I think we've talked about it before. The second one, um, a little weird. Some of the some of the things they had to retcon away to make you a bad guy potentially again was a little frustrating. Okay, so got to get on the roof. Oh. Is this a robot or a portable coffee machine? I'm here to collect. Sign here, please. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. And don't talk to the package. Don't what? You'll see what I mean. It won't shut up. It's going to Avalon Heights. They're expecting you. Okay. Uh, Driver 14 FC, this is control. Uh, just checking that you made that delivery. I'm on it. Checking up on me? No, we're just. Uh, what was that? I don't know, Driver. The city AI acting up again? Relocating a district, maybe? No, this felt like an explosion. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting reports over the wire right now. It, it was an explosion. Control? Was it at the Metro Hub? No, well. It was in that district, but it was in the bay. In the delivery bay? Yes. Control? Did I just... Unrelated. What? Your delivery was unrelated to the explosion. Wow. But I... Authorizing a bonus payment for Driver 14 FC. Transferring additional funds now. Why am I being given more money? Control? Um, Driver 14 FC, we are not authorized to discuss previous jobs. Uh, that's in the rules? I thought they were guidelines, not rules. Please complete your outstanding contract at Life Corp Industries. Control out. Control? Control! Camus, are you on comm? What happened? I am nervous. That was a big boom. My windows got shaky. Did we do that? 
No, we didn't do anything wrong. Okay. I mean, you can claim that all you want. It's not true. Where's this newspaper at? Maybe it was on the roof and I missed it? You love dog car? Okay, so we're going to disagree about dog car for a little while then. Because as of right now, I am not a huge fan of dog car. That's not my kind of character, though. Maybe the dog car will get better when, like, we get an upgrade for it. But right now, I don't love dog car. I'm not the, the fan of the cutesy animal sidekick type. Hello. Can you hear me? I yeah. can hear you, Box. How are you today? Camus, we're not supposed to talk to the Box. I completely understand. Uh... Dog car is good, doggo. Uh, are you an android too, Camus? Fine. You can answer him, Camus. Oh, Lord. I am an automata. I am a dog. Or a car. I am a dog car. How strange. Hey, fella. You're a Box. I am in a box. My name is William. What are you if you're not a box? I told you, I am William. But what are you? I was a sous chef in Little China. But not anymore. I'm moving up in the world. In a way that makes me sad, too. How come? Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. That will be a shame. But it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights. I can't wait. What will you do up there? I don't know yet. It's exciting. Maybe I'll be working as a personal assistant. Oh my. This is going to get deep, team. This is Square Boxes talking about the exist the, what the concept Maybe of life and death is. Perhaps I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire a human one day. Oh, no offense, driver. None taken. What's it like being a driver? I love to hear about poor people. Now that I will be rich. Wow, what a called I'm shot. I'm an organizer for charity dinners. You won't be invited, of course. But I would talk about you. Okay. Thanks. Uh... And I've only been a driver for a little while. I was a musician. Perhaps I shall be a musician. Of this course, parking? I would be too rich and too busy to learn to play. But I might get some augments so that I can perform. Maybe the saxophone. Uh-huh. Saxophone. Rania lost her home and we were evicted, Box. I mean, William. We had to move to the city. Oh, why? Debt corpse. Oh, yes. They can't be very unpleasant. I have heard. She had to sell my body for money, too. A circumstance with which I am familiar. I sold my body also. You see, a chef's android body is worth a lot these days. My body was the only part of me worth anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. Can we open the box to see him? I want to see the head. No, we're not allowed to open the packages. We're not supposed to speak to them, either. I am sad. You'll get over it. Yes, doggy. Don't worry. One day you'll have a lovely body like mine. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm sure it will be something good. I traded my old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the Spire. Surely they have the best android frames there, too. Okay, so AI is apparently completely independent living. If he had his own body, house, and like a job. So yeah, he must be completely, like AIs have autonomous freedom here, to some extent at least. I don't like the way that they handled the villain in Infamous 2. It felt like making the beast that character just didn't make a whole lot of sense. The way the beast acted in Kessler's memories was, well, a beast. Yeah, I remember we talked about that with the giant, like, it's a giant, like, it looks like a big 
ink monster, like a tar monster or something, right? And it's living in the sewers, and there's a whole lot of weirdness with it. I do, I think I do vaguely remember some of that. Seems to be the case, yeah. I mean, this is going to get really interesting. I think we're going to get into some really philosophical Hello? stuff about what is being alive His and souls and all William? that stuff. I'm the supervisor for this shift. Domestic android supervisor, Reginald Esquire Buckley Senior. You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no. I am a refuse disposal officer with cleaning functions. The senior refuse disposal officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digitlux cleaning unit 3000. And you will be working on the 3287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. Sorry, for what? I am to be the junior apprentice. Please pass me over to Mr. Buckley. I am keen to get to work. And you do understand that we can no longer be friends, right? I like you and your pet human, but it just wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh, I understand. I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. Oh, vehicle upgrade unlocked speed booster. Pee pee poo poo. That can be only mean one person has arrived. It is Hildegeist. Welcome. The master of making everything more difficult for themselves is here. Look, you're just finding opportunities to increase the difficulty so you get more experience. That's all it is. You're doing the harder level challenges. So, you know, you're power leveling. Nothing wrong with that. But, oh, that was infamous, infamous one was the... I do not. Okay, me neither. Well, we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have a home. Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a cloud punk salary. No pool, no butler... I'm not even sure we have running water. Maybe we can go somewhere nicer if Cloudpunk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Novalis. You need to prepare yourself for that. Even this place might be too expensive. We can't afford to mess up. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. I understand. So don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. I am still excited. Well, Hilda, guys, I would say that feeling is... Okay, here's what I'm going to say. If you don't know what that feeling is, that means it's a good feeling. And you should figure out how to optimize that good feeling. That's what my advice is. Beast and Infancy was the big red guy trying to superpower people to... Unpandemic them. Unpandemic them. Oh, was he a big tornado? And he was like crashing through parts of the country and everyone thought he was just some kind of weird hurricane. And then it turned out to be like a guy. Was that the second one? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Okay. I vaguely remember that then. I it's been it's probably been literally 10 years since I played either of these. Don't think of me as like trying to nail jello to a tree. Well, you know. Oh, missed the power lines. Back on the road. Let's go. Speed boost. Enter your apartment. I wonder when they're going to teach me how to upgrade my car and also how to get gas and stuff. Yeah, kind of, okay. I don't know. I don't know, OSR. I mean, oh wait, are you like one of those T-1000s that made up of like tons of little like nanobots? Is that why it's so hard to put you on a tree? That was a pretty cool robot. If you're gonna be a robot, that's, that's definitely one to aim for. Oh, stop going down. It starts, Grabbing onto the controls for no apparent reason. It's quite frustrating, actually. 
Looks like there's parking over this way. Oh, nailed it. Hopefully. Oh, park. There we go. T-1000 is goals? Fair. That's fair. You know, you buy enough upgrades, eventually you'll get there. Uh, Infamous 1, the beast literally killed everyone except for Kessler, who kept running away. Who kept? I, I do remember, like, it chasing you and you keep constantly getting away from it. What's this? Plus steel parts. Oh, that's probably good, right? Looks like our apartment's on the other side of this building, though. Of course. Of course we don't have the apartment next to the parking. Good thing we don't have anything to move, because, you know, we're broke. In Kessler's memories, anyway. Yeah, wasn't... wasn't Well, don't you find out that Kessler is you from the future, but, like, a different future? Okay, is this inner apartment? There we go. Yeah, Hilda guys, how you doing? What you up to? Oh, it was your weekend? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And he's Camus, can you read me? I'm in the apartment. You're authorized to access the systems in here. I am here. It is amazing. There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. A bit sparse. I'd love to be able to decorate, you know, make it less clinical. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes, they landed on the window ledge. I could never catch them. Yeah, not much chance of wildlife here. There are rats. I detect almost 50 within the property. <laughs> uh, do me a favor, Camus. Never mention rats again. Okay. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. Ugh, also not good. Come on, we should get back to work. If I get a bonus tonight, maybe I can buy a picture. Or a mirror. Or something. Ooh, I can buy upgrades. Let's look at the upgrades. Let's see, we got apartment upgrades. Pizza subscription. Get a random pizza delivery for one month. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Come in. We need you to deliver a package to the Sin Wave nightclub. You're going to have to deliver in person to the rooftop. That's where you can access the VIP area. So I just go to the door and... <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, kid. This one is gonna be tricky, but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? No. He's the owner of the club. And most of this sector, too. He's got a piece of every business in the Undertown. And he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful about him. I will. Are they expecting me? Sure. I'm just letting you know you might come up against some resistance. These are powerful people, so watch what you say. Powerful people? Let's just say they're very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. You will have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14 FC? Yeah. This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked, and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. And if you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. Okay, so... Oh, there's more? Oh, okay. This life is pretty dim, but if it was brighter, I'd just see the mess better. Ooh, retro console. I think this is ancient. I kind of want to try it. Music player. Oh, we can get a doghouse. Uh, this meter player isn't so bad. Someone rooted it so it can play non-corp approved music. Neat. Ooh, okay, so I was going to go with this glow-in-the-dark plant. But seeing that we have the music player and most people really like music, I'm going to buy the music player for the apartment. Nice. Actually, this is only 25 bucks, Aww. so we'll get that too. But, okay. Making the beast go from mindless life exterminator to sympathetic villain all of a sudden just felt really wrong for me, I guess. Yeah, I, 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 I vaguely, like I said, remember some of that going on in the second one and taking some really interesting choices. Um, if it was more fresh in my mind, I'd probably be able to give you a little bit more insight into it. But All right, cool. So we have a music player and a glow-in-the-dark plant. 
I really probably need to upgrade the car more than this stuff, though. Wow, Hildegeist came and went quick. Alright, um, okay, I guess we just gotta go back to our car. We're getting low on fuel. Hopefully they'll tell me how to deal with that soon. I assume I just gotta land at a fuel location and, like, pay money, but... That's why I'm not going crazy with spending until I figure out what's actually going Are on. Like, I keep seeing these little symbols for, like, a woman, like, next to my house, but I don't know what those mean yet. Okay, um, is there a road nearby? Oh, there's one. Okay, yeah, we do get a little bit of a boost. Not much of a boost, but some boost on, this, on the roads. About a 10 miles, I don't know, per second or whatever speed these are. Oh, has anybody, <laughs> has anybody been over to the Discord? Has anybody seen what, what social media posted in the, in the events thing? I guess if I'm going to get this out of the way, now is the time. Well, I'm casually driving down the road, talking to four people. Really? There's no... Music? No, nothing with this? Just... Oh, I passed it. Oops. These U-turns are really easy in this. Um, uh, I guess we'll go this way and take her down, Chief. Let's go. Uh, park, please? What are you doing? Park the... Park! There, park. All right. Oh, actually, now that you mentioned the thing about the sympathetic villain, um, that does remind me. <laughs> before I came came into the office, I watched the um, Cinema Sins cover of "Don't Breathe 2. We have his package, but will Lomo think we are undercover corpse sec? We don't look like undercover corpse sec. What would undercover corpse sec look like? Paris? Exactly. That's the I problem. Guess maybe we don't like know. Us. Nobody knows. We have to act natural, not suspicious. Exactly. Oh, it looks like I need to go the other direction? It is oh. hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed. You know what else doesn't help? Talking too much? You're learning fast, Camus. But yeah, uh, has anybody seen the original uh, Don't Breathe? Um, I'm not going to get in, ooh, just missed him. Um, not to get into all the specifics of that particular module. Oh, it's telling me where I can go get fuel when I get low on fuel. Oh, that's good. That's a nice touch. Uh, but let's understand that the main, the main villain of that, that particular, uh, movie, um, is, uh... Uh, att attacking a woman for a reason that he feels is justified and to most other people is in no way, shape, or form justified. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this... How does this work? Maybe this one? Uh, hello? Okay, there we go. Fuel, yeah. I like that we can stop if we don't want a full fill up. It's nice. Achievement unlocked. Refuel. Okay, great. But for some reason, we're also still having um, a little light on my dashboard still going, which I don't like that. I have not been given instructions on how to go about uh, interacting with the light. Or understanding what it means. Here we go, everybody. But yeah, in the first one, the guy is uh, basically... Uh, that's what I'm thinking, is that it is a check engine light, but I don't know how to interact with it, so I don't know. But yeah, so in the first movie, he's, he's you know, uh, a bad... A very, very, very bad person who's kidnapped a woman and is doing things to her against her will. 
Um, in the second one, they make him the hero and make him a sympathetic villain because he feels bad for what he did in the first one. But only feels bad because he got what he wanted in the first one in a different kind of way. In the first one, he wanted a child. In the second one, he found a random child passed out on the road and took it home and raised it as his own. So he feels bad for doing all the bad stuff in the first movie. We should feel bad for him when someone comes to try to steal his child the second time. First time, it died. Second time, uh, someone came to kidnap it. And you're just supposed to feel, you know, bad for him. It's like, no. I really don't. I feel bad for the, the child who's been through all this insane nonsense. But I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad for the crazy uh, turkey baster man. And it's just a, it's a, oh, there's a car there. Excuse me. My fault. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just like, no, you can't, you can't have this guy be an ultra villain who does horrific things in the first one. And then in the second one, He's fighting someone who's slightly worse than him, and we immediately go, oh. What you looking for? We should we should sympathize with this heartfelt, you know, villain. That used to catch giant glowing green fish in the bay before it comes to start charging thousand limes limbs for a permit. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks. Hey, come back anytime, lady. Oh, I can sell stuff to him though, too. That'd be interesting. I'm gonna go grab this newspaper or whatever. This gigantic punch card. The size of a dinner tray. But yeah, it's just... No. There was a lot of options for a sequel to Don't Breathe. And that was not the one you should have went with. You should not have gone with the one where we redeemed the horrific turkey baster monster man. Oh, we found a piccolo? An ocarina. We found an ocarina, everybody. Hey. Hey, ocarina. Um. Wait. Can I not get to where I need to go from here? Oh, this is the club. Okay. Can I just, like, sneak in the back? Okay, that side's blocked. I'm curious if there's actually a way for me to sneak through or if I just gotta go talk to the bouncer and, like, bribe him. Hello. Oh, one thing I guess I can talk about since it'll probably never come up. Um, the thing with the dog, she puts the dog in the car. It actually is very similar to something I had thought up if I had ever gotten around to like, I don't know, being a millionaire who had his own uh, module making company. Who are you? I'm here to deliver a package. Sure you are. Fuck off. Look, I need to get past. They're expecting me in the VIP area upstairs. Make it worth my while. How? I don't have much money. I don't want money. Get me some juice. Juice? Tram and all bottles. Corpsack aren't allowed to hold them. So if you bring me some, I know you ain't a cop and I can sell them. <sighs> what if I just make a break for it? All right, I guess I gotta go to- oh, that's why this drug dealer's here, is so I can go buy drugs from him. Big Narco. Isn't a narc, like- You from the East, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Uh, Joe's. Joe's. A golden brown high with a steady calm come down. For you know, Joe's was a legal stimulant until the drug company failed to pay their kickback to Corpse Act. It's like that, eh? Liquid Sun. Liquor. When nothing else helps. Dermis. Replicating self-administrating dermis. So skin cells for androids. These are expensive and highly sought after by those who want to pass for human. Ooh. Some Blade Runner, perhaps? A little, a little susaw of Blade Runner? Give me one of these. Done. Thanks. You folks from the East are good with me, but no sec. All right, so he likes people from the East. My first villain I have being sympathetic, but my second one is just going to be a complete monster. I thought about making them more complicated, and then I realized for their character, I should just make them lean into being a monster even more. Fair. 
I mean, there's people like that in real life who are just like, yeah, I'm a bad guy. I do bad guy things. Punches baby. Like, it's just weird. I brought your juice. All right, go ahead. Okay, enter the club. <clears throat> but yeah, no, I had a module in my mind that I've been, I've been kind of thinking about off and on for years. And obviously I have no money or ability to program. I just thought it'd be interesting. But it was something of a um, kind of, uh, what do you call it? Cowboy Bebop slash Cowboy Bebop Outlaw Star styled like fringe Western future thing going on. And you start out and the main character is a like a 15 year old whose dad is like a kind of a recluse but like clearly like military trained or like has combat skills and one of the things he gets you for like your 16th birthday is a like a really advanced robotic horse that has like a cool ai and stuff so it's like a trained horse basically and then what i was going to do is later on once the story progresses and you have to leave the world you're gonna leave your horse behind because it doesn't fit on the little ship you have at the time. But then you find out that the horse's AI is so advanced that you can take your trained horse AI and put it into your ship and make your like personal ship have the AI of your trained horse. So you can like talk to it and give it commands and it'll come and like follow you and do cool trained horse stuff. Like Silver with the Lone Ranger and such. He works with a person who is trying to legitimately do good things through horrible methods. But he's doing the horrible methods because he loves it. And saying he's doing it for the greater good is just a fun bonus to him. Yeah. Yeah, no. An excuse to do your horribleness? Yeah, that driver. makes sense. I have your package. You're not Carmine. He used to run my packages. He retired. Retired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? That's right. You bring me packages. No questions, no mistakes. We'll be friends. I like his if cigarette is green. Down, probably not. I understand. What's your name? Rania. Well, Rania, I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? <sighs> sure. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea, but we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Not really. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nivalis, and some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving. Understand? I think so. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. Hmm. Achievement locked. His hands are dirty. And yeah, no, a villain who who fi finds like cover for his villainy. It's kind of an interesting art. Um, and he uses that as a cover just to be able to hurt people because he likes it. Well, yeah, that that makes sense. Okay, where? Oh, this? Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and Pub Web. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate, can be uttered as a blessing or a curse, can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name, can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics, theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the Okay, that's plenty. You know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, Chemis. Should I look it up? Wait, we have an incoming call. Kid, you there? Ready for another job? Sure thing. Hey, Control, what is Cora? 
Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Pick up a drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Control out. Hmm. Camus, right. are you there? Here? Camus, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. I see it everywhere. And there was something about Control's reaction. It means something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. You don't have a head, Camus. You're running on a low clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus Automata now offline. All right, so what is this lady? You met him yet? Who do you mean? Rubric. We're not best friends. Why? He took my place. I was Lomo's number one hacker. What happened? There were lines I wouldn't cross. So you're an ethical hacker. You say that like it's an oxymoron. I... I guess it's not. I've known hackers who were good people, I guess. You want some free advice? Stay away from Rubric. Lomo will use you to get what he wants, but Rubric will be the one that cuts your future short. That's what happened to you? Not yet. He'll get me one day. I hope not. Oh, I don't doubt it. Okay, that was random. Like, we act like we know who that was, but we really don't. I don't think I was meant to talk to them yet. Always with the old data. This is an inscription. This is a completely different, diff very different kind of old data. This is definitely not the Cormillus code or whatever. Unless it turns out to be the Cormillus code and like, whoever made this just missed that boat. One well, no, this came out a while ago. So we actually might be old data static. Yeah, exactly. So this actually might have beat beat uh, inscription because inscription's pretty new and this is a bit older. So there's a chance we could have uh, they could have beat them to the Cornelis code or whatever and all that all that fun stuff. Hog dance code, as it probably should be called. Maybe that's my, like, my car is too injured from all the nonsense I've been doing to it. I'm going to go this way and hop on this freeway. Give me my extra 10 miles an hour. Oh, you jerk face. Absolute jerk face. I wonder if it's going to tell me when I get hungry. Or do I just need to, like, stop and buy food on my own? Like, is it a stat bonus thing as opposed to a necessity or what? Okay. Looks like this is a parking spot. A uh, parking spot or not? Is this a parking spot? It looks like a parking spot. Uh, hello? Okay, I've got to cheat here for a second. I cannot tell where... Okay, it's over there. This is shaded like it's a parking spot, but it is not actually a parking spot, apparently. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, calm down. How? Let me park. There, park the vehicle. My God. Okay. I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? Sure. You don't know what it is, do you? Nope. Sure don't. It regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grab lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. 
You're not listening, are you? I think they need this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. <laughs> Man, he talks slow. God awful. It's one of those guys that always has to explain what they're giving to you. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I mean, in this case, it kind of helps because obviously I don't know what he's talking about, but excuse me, coming through. As far as I can tell, my car is invincible, so I'm going to drive it like it's invincible. So I guess when I discover a new place, they just give me 50 bucks, which is nice. Looks like I gotta go this way. Okay. Well, this is easier. I do really like the first person view. It's a little more immersive. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, I gotta drop this off. Where is Never Slow Joe? Are you part of the race? I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Seriously? You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. But without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. Okay. Park it? Yeah, that was good. It's a car from Dead Island? Yeah. Where is he? Am I missing something? Um, is it, I guess I gotta find him? Maybe he's parked on top of the building? Hold on. This is nonsense. It's all a bunch of nonsense. Oh yeah, there he is. How do I drop this off? Or do I gotta find a ladder? Like, how do I? Okay, hold on. Oh, moving it over. Park it. I used to put those trucks through tech. I drive them off so many cliffs and through oceans, and they barely ever take damage. They can, can though, but it's like they're sturdier than tanks. Yeah, well, they were designed to like drive on roads and then hit zombies, and that was it. So when you could do other things with them, and the modules like doesn't matter. Not responding. Oh wait, is this like an elevator over here? Uh, okay, that's, those are elevators, I think. So hopefully this is where I need to be. Uh, okay, elevator, elevator. Pretty sure the devs didn't intend for us to drive them through the ocean. Traditionally, that's not some place people take vehicles, but you know, if you can get to the beach, you can get it to the ocean. If you can get it to the ocean, people are gonna drive it through the ocean. Oh, wait, wait, I think it's probably better to go this way. Can you like turn, can you dim the brights, please? Are you never slow, Joe? No, I am currently very slow, Joe. You got my converter? Yeah. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm going to give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs. 
These converters are worth a lot of money? Well, they sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe, you hear? Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you'd drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're braver than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. Ah, that's no good. <laughs> My name's no good? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like it. All right. On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. Okay, you've been sitting here waiting for me. I don't think you're gonna win the race anymore, friend. Unless you're speed racer, in which case you can the race will come to a complete halt so you can do whatever nonsense you're doing, but I'm on the bungalow path like it was an intent for to drive through the ocean or the bungalow pass like I did. did I've done on the wooden bungalow platforms on out on top of the water. I've done that too. I don't like it. He's a racer, not a poet, Camus. Is it, this is just Are a you bank. going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? or take it to the Mr. Emmett Mechanic Man. What? Eh, let him die racing. Yeah, he's an adult. <laughs> it's not like this is some 12 year old who stole a car and is out illegally racing it. That's a full grown adult. Why am I making his life choices for him? What? No, <laughs> I refuse. I'm not his caretaker. I'm <laughs> I'm a delivery driver for an illegal delivery company. What are you talking about? You're getting the item of stealing the money for the part is worth. I guess that's what I could do. I guess that's what they're talking about. That's much less of a morale thing like they're presenting it though. They're presenting it as, well, if I sell this to the other person, then he'll stop racing. If I if I keep it. You know, or whatever. No, 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 no. But just look. I'm new to this city. The last thing I need to do is start making f enemies of people. There's plenty of time for making enemies of people later. Oop, uh, this button. I got all day to make enemies of people. What's up, mechanic? I'm talking about selling it and selling it to a different mechanic for money. I guess so. Wait, is this? Wait. Oh, oh, I gotta go to blue to give it to Emmett. Okay. I misunderstood where I was going. I thought the green was the, the, the Emmett one. Excuse me. Vehicle upgrade unlocked. Plamasteel bu uh, bumpers. Oh, I think my car is badly damaged. Yeah. Okay. All right, so there is damage, apparently. I will keep that in mind. I will slow, I will calm down just a smidge. Not much, but a smidge. Park it. You almost, I almost did. I got close. Hi, Emmett. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire? Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. Yes, he's an adult. Why wouldn't it be? 
Okay, so is this... So who do I need to talk to to actually use the... I found out more about Korra. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. Um, I've got something I've got to do. Another job? No, if you're about oh, okay, to here we go. Worth of data, so fix all the damage. The first. Reduce the vapor in the drive shaft so fast that the uh, organ instantly vaporizes. Use E to activate while driving. Okay, so it's a nice, uh, it's a nitro. Red tracer unit for the hum, and ionizes the helmet exhaust to produce a red contrail. The racers always go for red. Plasteel bumpers. With these, you might put more dents in other hubs and some buildings than ourselves. Retro antenna. This looks like what used to be in ancient times when antennas were actually needed. Purely cosmetic. Oh. Oh, then we're going to go for the bumper, so we have to fix our car left less often. We'll fix this. I'll wait on the speed booster, I think, for now. All right. So, car's fixed, and we got a new super resistant bumper. So that we're more, you know, it's not as big a deal if we play bumper cars. Spire Sky. Look after your Hoffa, and she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. <laughs> Payment received. A bonus $100. Nice. That covers a quarter of the money we spent to fix the car, but all right. Whatever you say. All right, let's get you. I mean, I feel like there's got to be a bajillion car accidents constantly, right? And, like, do you think the fast lane is the higher lanes? And as you go lower, it slows down more? Like, the grandmas are all driving at the bottom? That's probably how it works, right? For jobs you have to use your own vehicle for. Yeah. Is this our vehicle, though, or is this a loaner they gave us? Because she said she doesn't have any money or anything. I feel like this is a loaner vehicle they gave us. I like that there's a rear view thing, which I guess is probably important later, but it's so tiny. Okay, it looks like we need to be going this way. Okay, I need to find, I guess the parking is just this one over here, hopefully. Okay. Okay, all right, everybody, all right. That's a clerk, I don't really need that, I don't think. Dynamite Simpson, okay. For a dystopic future, there sure are a lot of guardrails. I don't know how I feel about this. Midnight Club downtown. $50. Someday we'll figure out what these punch cars are for. But until, this, until then, I'm going to continue to collect them. Um, I guess maybe I'm on the wrong side? Oh, maybe I can take... Maybe this is a crossover. Because there's no parking on that side. What do we got? Uh, remote detonator. Bring the suspicious item to Corpsec. Okay. I think there was one back this way. Midnight Club. Is that a reference, you think? It's got to be a reference, right? Can I just sell this? Hold on. Here's what I can offer you today. Uh, candy bar, yellow shades. Another fisherman. Sell? What do we got? Um, I, This is an ocarina. My mom played one like this when I was young. I guess someone lost it. It's dirty, but I think it still works. This looks like some sort of remote detonator. We should try to take this to the authorities. Who are the authorities in the city? Is there only Corpsec? Well, we need to take it to somewhere safe. I mean, we can't just press the button, right? I mean, right? Oh, my God. It's a trading card. Wow, gold series. This one is pretty rare. 
I wonder if Joe will like the picture they used on this card. This must be a few years back. He looks much younger. Does that never go slow, Joe? Corpse flyer. It's a vendor for some limbs. Oh, okay. So this is literally just for selling? Okay, so we sell. Oh, we can hit it with E. Okay, sell. Trying to recruit for their informant. Gray text on a dark gray background. Inspiring. Probably just sell these. Card says it's for an Android dating agency, but it doesn't say if it's a dating agency for androids, for humans that want to date androids, for androids that want to date humans. Um. Oh, okay. We can't even sell a lot of this stuff. We can sell the car thing back for half the price. Rare video game tape. I think this is some kind of ancient storage medium. The front cover has some guys in old-fashioned clothes fighting each other. It's pretty well preserved. Maybe some collector threw it out by mistake. Okay, well, we're done with you. Oh, we're pressing it. We're completely pressing it. We're about to commit a crime. 100% about to commit a serious, serious crime. Uh, can I? Oh, wait, maybe I can't. Uh, I might not be able to, They might not let me. Hold on. Punch cards covered in holes. I. It's not letting me interact with it. So I think I just have to give it to somebody. I would 100% push that button and just see what happens, everybody. Hi. I, uh, found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities. Or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be... Give it to me. Now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? Oh, he's gonna push no it. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom. Oh, he's gonna push it. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you. Hmm, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said. Nothing happened again. Stop pressing the button. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. Oh. I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, sometimes you got to improvise on the spot to make sure people don't blow themselves or others up. Oh, I gotta get myself a coffee. Oh, all right. Interesting. Midnight Club downtown, yeah. Wait, did I lose money at some point? I guess it's just from buying stuff. I thought I left it at 1800 something. But that's the future, everybody. That's the future of uh, safety protocols. Oh, nice, it does teleport me, sweet. Coffee guy, Neo, Danya. It's a Dania. Hello? Excuse me. I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh, yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this, you see. 
You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope, still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. Oh my you god. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now, but we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory and the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. Okay. We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. <laughs> so they were morality lessons? <laughs> we collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. Oh, God. What did punching people in the street teach us? Yes. Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment. But the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more <laughs> okay. of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. I think she might have been hitting on us a little bit. Achievement unlocked. Load. Enter. Wow. I told Zentra that she would play Azura Strike. She sh she would enjoy Azura Striker Gunvolt story. Lots of characters building. Definitely happy character building. Very, yes, very symbolic. This is what I imagine modern English teachers sound like about certain stories. Oh, 100%. 100%. Okay, so that's the coffee guy. Yeah, it depends on which version of English stories they're teaching, right? Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Hot chocolate, soda can. Well, lots of real sugar, but no caffeine. Sweet, hot, with a tiny bit of caffeine and cream. Special kind of cappuccino for the people of Novalis. Made with love and extras. A cup of coffee. Hot, delicious. Disagree. Hard disagree. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Hard to disagree. Did I get it? Okay, I guess I got it. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. Basically. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it. It's just it's a bit dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep. Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. 
Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an oh, anthropomorphism cool of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <sniffs> Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example. I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. <laughs> Another nice. from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exiv whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Oh, here we go. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's <laughs> not really... Oh, no. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. I mean, that sounds better than regular coffee to me. Vehicle upgrade, vertical repulsor. Ooh, maybe that makes me uh, ascend and descend faster. Or at least ascend faster. Uh, all right. Sorry if I'm... Okay, so there's a certain scene I can't wait to happen to be like, that's technically canon, by the way. A scene in what? In in Grand Blue or uh, Azura Blue or whatever, or in this? In Gunvolt. In Gunvolt. Oh, okay. Okay, so I need to work, I guess. I need a job. Or what am I doing? <laughs> I kind of know what. Zentrea will love it. Okay. Lady, Lady Zentra. All right. Um, I haven't seen this before. Okay, that's what I thought. I, oh, no, oh, wrong button. Okay, there's some work. You're gonna love a scene in Gunvolt, Lady Zentra. Are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No. Why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? I'm not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? 
I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. Oh, it's bad, team. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. <laughs> That's a headache, Control. <laughs> fair. Totally fair. Look, sometimes... If, look, Chris, look. <laughs> Leon S. Kennedy had a really rough first day, everybody, all right? There's no reason Reyna can't can't also have a really rough first day. I've been enjoying the developer's writing since I was a kid. Probably influenced my own. This or uh, Gunvolt? Is there, is there, I, I guess I didn't expect to be that good at writing in Gunvolt, but that's cool. No, stay in the air. We need to continue going up. Uh, looks like parking's this way. Gunful. Wow, that's good to know that there's that stronger writing. And something adjacent to a Mega Man, I would not expect such good writing. So, okay, wait, Card Cardinal, or yeah, Cardinal, you said you were you were doing you were uh, buffing your boots. So is that like something you're just doing to pass the time, or is that a thing like you're getting inspected tomorrow and you need to make sure your boots are shiny? I've always been curious about how that works out, especially once you're out of boot camp. It's not as strong as the writing was in the Mega Man Zero series, but it's there. But just about right for an action-y module. Oh, okay, gotcha. So is this... Okay, there's... Oh, okay, what's this? Item added. Coolant. Okay. So wait, are these not beds? I thought these were beds. Oh. I guess not. They're just random objects. Okay. Um, I guess I gotta go downstairs. Uh, oh, look, it's the water line. I guess the rest of the city from here is underwater? Okay, so... I guess we'll take the elevator down. I guess it's nice I went over there and got the free electronics though. That's probably good, right? Up, down. Oh, they gave the they gave the little motor a voice? Come on, that poor thing doesn't need to think. It just needs to go up and down. Don't don't put that much pressure on a poor little motor. That's some that's some Rick butter robot thing. Come on now. So wait, are these people just feeding themselves to the ocean? Is that what's going on down here? Oh, is that a giant foam finger? Oh, it's just a full human hand. Wait, what? This appears to be, oh no, this is someone's hand. They're not supposed to just throw a biological limb in the gar garbage. It appears to be wearing a wedding ring too. Should I keep this? I guess someone might want it back. Apparently, we're going to come across somebody who... Oh, maybe I can sell this to a vendor. Okay, so that's vendor trash. Yeah, we never really get inspected in the NWUs. What we wear the boots with. But my LPO likes to randomly hand out days off to good-looking boots. That, and I haven't polished them since mid-December, so I wanted to make them look better. Fair, okay, that sounds good. Keeping yourself looking professional, but also potentially having a, uh, uh, a bonus. That's good. Hey, are you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Kind of. Here's 100 limbs. No. Oh. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. 
A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A Vulcan. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Ah, where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, until the big dust storms hit back in the year of the dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Shut uh, up! Okay, what? Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. <laughs> and sad people don't spend money. <laughs> yes! Nailed it. Achievement unlocked Norman. Okay, great. This is gonna be a thing, team. This is a whole person? whole Ready? thing. Yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. The limbs, calm, holocaust, well, yeah, you go on a shopping spree to make yourself feel better. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay, then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Okay. I, I think it's 50-50 on whether or not we'll see that guy again. <laughs> yeah, false. Ladies' interest like, false. Sad people spend a lot of money. They do. Hey, Ronnie, you met that guy going on the Ascension. Is he really going through with it? He says the Ascension takes him to the Spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He <laughs> knew? Of course he does. He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Nivalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. <laughs> are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded... different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Chemis. I have to think. Oh, come on. This is an easy one. We just drop it in a mailbox. Who cares? Okay, we need blue. 
This one's pretty straightforward. Like, come on. He's a poet, and she, and she knew it. He got brains, but don't show it. Like, if you <laughs> listen here. Um, but yeah, no, I think, I mean, you have to be pretty smart to run an illegal shipping operation and stay in the, in the game for as long as he has, right? Um, do I need to get out of my car for this, or can I just, like, drop it? Um, whoa. Okay, camera, I need my, my down camera, please. Uh, I guess I gotta go find a parking spot. Uh, I guess over here and I gotta take a teleporter? Let's go try that. I like that they explain the way, the, the reason the city looks so stupid is because the city building AI has gone crazy. Maybe after the, you beat Gunvolt, I'll recommend the Mega Man Zero Legacy Collection. Depending on how good you are at platformers, there's a certain setting that adds... They added to make the modules easier, but it wasn't there when I was a little kid. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, I don't know how good I'm going to be at it or not be, so... These are good and important questions. We will have to find out together. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If I go over here, I can get free stuff. Free stuff? VR helmet? Broken augments. Oh, that could actually be worth some money. To the right people, probably. Um, where is it? It's like 50-50. It looks like it's that shoot with the arrows, probably. I'll just take this door. Yeah. There we go. I can't do it, Camus. I can't give away Gil's final possessions to settle his debts. Will we get in trouble? I don't care. Like, there has to be some morality here. I'm not going to take care of adults because they're not taking care of themselves. But I also don't mind just th literally dropping someone's mail in the mailbox so their family gets their last, like, will and testament. Those are very different things. I don't know if... Oh, nice. Electronics. Are you there? Yeah. You don't sound good, Control. What? I'm fine. I, uh, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point. Collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Oh, he's a little angry. Oh, man's a little spicy when he's on the sauce. Someone just crashed their car here and left it, eh? Let's go. We got a merchant and we got a gang member. And a vendor. I'd say it only necessary for zero one. one I could tell you the way to beat the first module without it, though. For some reason, they did the live system in zero one one different to every other Mega Man module I've played. Really? Well, you know, sometimes you gotta try something new and it doesn't work out, so, you know, you gotta go back to the old system. Wait, where's my car? Wait. Okay, no, I just gotta go over here and... Wait, where did I leave it? So confused. Zero One is a janky mod module? Well, that was... That was SNS days, right? Or was that PlayStation 1? I don't know when the, the, the Mega Man Zero stuff started. Game Boy? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, that's why it's a janky mess. Is 
fun as the Game Boy was, it wasn't exactly a, you know, powerhouse of capability. Where am I going? Okay, this way? Game Boy Advance, well, that's a little bit better. That was basically a Super Nintendo portable. I had one of those. It was nifty. Had some Zelda stuff. Bozoi Resort. Yeah, I'm curious once we finish this up, like, I know there's a mod or, like, a DLC they added for, like, two bucks that gives you, like, infinite mode. I'm curious on exactly how that works. I don't think any reviewer I've seen for the Zero series has ever rated Zero One as anything but the worst module of the series. Wow. Oof a doof. I mean, long as it's a fair description, though, right? Like... Look, not everyone loves Earthbound, but I do. And it's got problems, but I'm okay with that. Oh, did I mention what the thing was for the event over on the Discord? Did I actually mention what the Discord event is? Thank you, Earthbound is an amazing thing. I completely agree. I, it taught me to read, basically. That was the module I wanted to play, and I had to learn to read to do it. So I learned to read so I could play Earthbound. Without having, like, my dad or grandma around to read it to me. Basically. It's like Nintendo's, like, least loved legend. It's very strange. fact that you can just find food in trash cans. Well, it's true. You can. There's no event on the Discord? Really? Under the event section, there's not an event? Maybe I didn't finish posting it? Like, I talked to social media. They probably told me how to do it wrong. Okay, it's saying there's something here, but I can't get it. Maybe it's above me? Maybe it's below me. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so it looks like I gotta go down? No. Ah, oh, I found it. Okay, great. Social media didn't lie to me. Ron's a nice guy. I don't know why he would lie to me. I, I mean, it'd be one thing if he's wrong, right? Like, people make some mistakes, but... Oh, I see. 24 Elden Ring 24-hour stream. Yes. Okay, so... Oh, maybe it's here. Is it on this floor? Okay, yeah, it looks like more coolant. Oh, what's this? A memory chip. Oh! Starting to work our way to building a new dog friend. All right. Yeah, uh, some very uh, persistent um, requesting from HR uh, has me... Doing a 24-hour 24 24-hour 24 Elden Ring stream next Friday. I'm the delivery driver. I'm here to pick up something. Yes, you're here to take our original corbet. Huh? <laughs> it's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. Butler too. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers. What is all this nonsense, Mr. Octavius Butler? This was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem, and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Let's be going, then. I want to see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. And I don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. It's weird. They look like humans, but... 
Parking prohibited. Delivery oh passengers my. first. This is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree. Very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. Dear, Ow. you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler... Oh, met. okay, that's why sure. it's like that. That's what the names are. <laughs> well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. I love him for who he is inside, not what his outer skin is made of. It's a polymer plastic. It's a polymer plastic with a latex coating. To give it the smoothness of a human skin, but the rigidity oh, necessary for hilarious. movement what was i saying oh yes we met at a charity fundraiser we both okay. work for life i cut a corner I'm here in hr okay. and mr octavius butler is in acquisitions we had executive offices next door we started meeting for coffee and one thing led to another wow and now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're certainly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in. Oh, they got gentrified out of the neighborhood. Fair. All right. Sucks, but that happens. Oh, wrong button. With hypergentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. <laughs> wow, okay. It's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. Is it? People who argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. Oh what my freedom God. does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here. Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? Okay, looks like we're getting off No here. one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocrons yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. Now we're already here, by the way, but all right. You see, Mr. Octavius Butler, look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't harken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Oh, okay, androids interesting. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We are all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very, a very line, distinguished okay. line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We're very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. 
I'm sure they're long gone. Either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. Yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. Wow. All right. Uh. Wow. All right. So. Oh, okay. There's like a forced cloud layer. Corwin Optics? Corwin Bio Biotics. Hmm. Let's see. There's an interesting thing the devs for Gunvolt and Zero do. Many of the modules they make have options that make the module easier, but also punish you if you take them. I love it. I gotcha. God, this is why I'm not a taxi driver. I didn't like them. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata. Or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them. Less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up. Yeah. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's all we can do. Hmm. So... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about... music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine. But we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about Corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you Wow, know? so this is way in the future. Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune into the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. Yeah, this what would probably be around 4,000 yes. minimum? I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba ba ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right, sorry. Dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. Achievement unlocked. Radio free nibbles. From control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's cloud pump. I have a nav point. Let's go then. Alright. Trying to not waste too much gas there. For example, in Mega Man Zero. Oh, we're going this way. Oh no, we are going into the okay. Coming down. Watch yourselves. Coming down. About a special bumper just for ramming into people. Get out of my way. For example, in Mega Man Zero, you can sacrifice Cyber Elves, sci fi versions of fairies, to either get a temporary buff or a permanent one. Of course, the module punishes you for mur murdering your fairies for buffs, so your mission rank goes down. <laughs> Fair. That, that reminds me vaguely of uh, Bioshock, where you're sacrificing the, the little girls, or not sacrificing them.
So what is is uh control dead now? Did he get too drunk and they fired him, aka shot him in the head? I'm feeling like they're gonna give him the old shot him in the head. Where are we going? I think as a kid I just sacrificed a whole bunch anyway. This module is hard. The module is hard, yeah. Well, you have to remember, like, what was... You're still dealing with the age of when, like, the quarter mentality still existed. Where they were trying to make modules designed to eat quarters, and, like, that really took a while before they stopped thinking of, of, of stuff like that, right? Like, it wasn't closer to, like, the uh, Super Nintendo stuff, like... Before that started to even go away. And it still felt like it was a while before even then. The concept of just, yeah, we just make you start over from the beginning wasn't, oh, you jerk, you turned into me. At least the bumper seems to be doing their job. I don't think I took much damage there. Would have been nice to have a road to do this on. Speed the whole process up a bit. Oh. I, okay, that one's on me. That one's on me. But yeah, those old Mario or the old Mario, the old uh, Mega Man stuff is really hard. I remember, I think it was Mar Mega Man Eight or maybe Ten that it was like the only Mega Man I ever played actually a bunch of, and I actually beat through I think most of that in in a weekend. Wait, I think I gotta go this way. It looks like we're getting close. Excuse me. Oh, look at that fancy hover car. Oh, we found a new district. Okay, so we're gonna need to park here. That looks like a pretty big parking area. Oh yeah, this is a more more of a classic parking. Uh, like this doesn't even have like lights or anything. There we go. All right. Looks like I'll have to go on foot. It's pretty far from a parking bay. I will stay here and play the waiting game. What's the waiting game? I guess how long it takes for me to get bored. Then, when I get bored, I start the game again. Right. I'll try to be quick. <laughs> well, you know, it's good that it knows how to play its own version of, like, Solitaire. Quarter mentally... Wait, quarter mentality is actually a good way to think of the live system in Zero One. The way it normally works is in the Mega Man modules I played is that you have X number of lives. Every life respawns you at a checkpoint. You run out of lives, you start over at the beginning of the mission with three lives by default. Even if you went in with like two or one life, for example. Yeah. Hello? Oh my god. Who are you? I haven't seen you here before. Come and speak to me. Why are you shouting so much? I'm not shouting. Not really. I could shout if you want. I just want to talk to you. Fine, just keep it down. Who are you? Oh my god. I'm Susie, and I love meeting new people. I'm so, so happy right now. I live for this. You live for talking to strangers? Uh, yes. You know introverts and extroverts. You're an introvert, right? There's no such thing. It's all just nonsense. Like star signs uh, or blood types. Hard to disagree. But some people like to be more outgoing and meet new people. And some people like to stay home and read. Everybody likes those things at different times. That's just being alive. Uh, well, still hard to disagree. You know extroverts? Well, I'm an extrovert. I was quiet and shy, but I got a neural mob that makes me super confident. Now, I can't stop meeting new people. Oh, interesting. That sounds awful. <laughs> I can't stop. Well, I mean, maybe I could help. I could... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really dull. I need to talk to someone new. Uh, could you move <laughs> along, please? Nice. Achievement unlocked. Neural mods. All right, so the people, the little faces on there are just indicators of people I could talk to that are female, it seems. OK. 
Okay. I mean, they're rewarding me for go checking, like, going to check out the newspapers or these weird, I don't know, whatever punch card things, whatever these turn out to be. Hmm. Maybe that one's above me. All right. Well, I'll take the elevator up. I'm, I'm happy that they haven't forced any kind of weird um, timers on me yet. In zero one, you get back three lives. You get X lives, then you save before mission and get go, go into it. Run out of lives, you have to go back to your save and start from how many lives you had at the save. If you make the horrible mistake of saving before a hard mission with only one life, you're in for a hard time. The way I learned to play it is that you have to grind a little at different places and collect lives. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, that's just preparing... That it's it's grinding supplies for a challenge. That's it's a weird way of doing it, but it's not something unheard of, even in modern uh, stuff, right? Like, yeah, about the N zero one thing, right? Who am I? Who am I talking to here? Okay, so do I need this elevator or is it this guy? Who am I talking to? What's normal out of zero one? Oh, maybe I missed the one before that one? Or the way you learn to play it? Okay, so there's something. Okay, wait, so this goes up. This is taking me closer. Yeah, the quarter mentality. I, didn't I read that out loud? Did I not read it out loud? Okay, so... I guess I gotta go up further? Which one of these takes me up further? How do, how do I keep going up? Hold on, hold on. Let me go... Hold on. Pause this. Go over here and double check it. Yeah, quarter mentality is actually a good way to think of the lot. Live system in, in zero one. The way it normally works is the Mega Man modules I played it that you have X number of lives. Every life respawns you at a checkpoint. And if you run out of lives, you start over at the beginning of the mission with three lives by default. Even if you went in with like two or one, for example. Zero one, you don't get back three lives. You get X lives, then you save before a mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. All right. Okay, hold on. So I've got to figure out how, I guess I got to go up one more floor. It's weird because these are saying up and down, but it seems like they're only that one only goes down. Wait, what did that say? Is it yelling at me? I think the ro I think the little motor bot just got angry that its coupling's messed up. All right, is this it? <laughs> I don't know, Ika. Where is the confusion? I thought I read that out loud. Oh, investigate object. Here we go. I am being stolen. Canis, did you get bored? No, it is true. I am being stolen. Shit, really? Lock the doors. They are already inside. Tell them to get out. Threaten them. Pretend you have an anti-theft subroutine. Uh, they can hear you. Why am I on speaker? Canis. I am taking off. I am frightened. Oh, come on. They the stole my car. On. Can't. <laughs> Hacked. Hava Automata, eject custom personality Camus data drive. Eject? What if I fall into the ocean? Then you'll float, I think. You think? Wait, what where is... if I get... Damn it, eject Camus data drive, now! Drive deactivated and ejected. Camus? Camus? Shit, shit, shit. Think, Rania, think. The drive, it should be registered to me. I can track it on my comm. Well, that's great, but how am I going to get there, dingus? I don't have a car now. Wait, is it just over there? Hold on. Maybe I can... Can I just run there? I'm polishing my boots and still hurt it. Well, I mean... Look, it has got a lot of stuff going on in his brain. He's got that, you know, writer mentality where, like, an epiphany hits him and he's just like, Oh, I gotta write this down. 
Ika, do you carry around like a little like flip book? Like you can put notes in it while you're at work and stuff? Okay, where did this take me? This is not taking me where I think I need to be. Okay. Uh, I'm slowly making my way in a direction. <laughs> I love it's rescue Camus and not the, the car. The car is not what's important, it's just the dog. Yeah, with the way live system in zero one, one if you end up in a mandatory mission with one life, you could really be messed up and get stuck where it can't beat it without checkpoints. Uh, I gotcha, yeah. Wait, wait, is there a thing here? Oh, there is. So do I, I just haven't put anything online. Oh, you're gonna do some writing also? Damn it, Camus, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to dry you off, I guess. You can't talk to me right now. You probably can't even hear me. But if you can, I'm going to fix this. This isn't going to be a pleasant phone call. Control? Control, can you hear me? I read you, kid. Uh, you okay? Yeah. No. Look, I have some bad news. You lost the Hava? Yes. How did you... Uh, we track it. Listen. This one ain't on you, kid. Don't sweat it. it happens all the time. What? Seriously? <laughs> Hava jacking? Oh yeah. Surprised it hasn't happened already. So, am I fired or not? Kid, we got insurance. Uh, you weren't hurt. But more important, you didn't lose a package. But what do I do without a Hava? I'm not gonna lie. We got a pretty generous repair replace policy. I'm not saying we're happy when some slum ganger steals a Hava that's two months over its predicted expiry date. Well, actually, I am gonna say it because it's true. <laughs> Past its expiry date? How much of a junker was I driving? Hey, don't worry about it, kid. It got pinched before it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Best outcome for everyone. Not for me. Not for my... What the hell am I supposed to do now? Relax. You're real close to one of our suppliers. I'm sending a nav point for Grimm's Hava Mall. Oh, do I get to buy my own car? I buy limousine from old Grimm, but... Any hava he has will be better than what you were in before. Choose anything you want on us. Just tell Grim that Cloudpunk sent you. Control out. Hold on, Camus. I'll get you back as soon as I can. Wow, we got a free car. I write notes in my phone. Oh, that makes sense. Also, yeah, most of my story is in my head, though. Yeah. I, like, I like computers, obviously. Like, but. I don't know. There's there's a certain aspect of just being able to whip out of like a notebook and just being able to write down with a pen that like really tingles my brain in a way that trying to put notes on my phone doesn't work out. But I'm also I guess I'm old fashioned in that way that I I enjoy like buttons and physical interacting with things. And mostly in the lore written, but the whole story is in my head. Yeah. That kind of sounds like how I do my D and D campaigns. Not that I've, I've only run one of the two major ones and it kind of flopped, but... Though I would say that arguably that wasn't really my fault. Okay, there's the place. So I gotta go downstairs one more time. Uh, how, how do I go downstairs? I'm happy to know that the robot has gone crazy and that's why the world sucks this much. That's nice, Cardinal. What's it like? Any fun character building? <laughs> Oh, okay, here we go. Nice. Ooh, we got kind of a back to the future looking thing. I think that's a Blade Runner looking thing. Oh, we got like kind of a, a, a like a drifter car. Oh, we got a classic sedan, like a Woody Wagon type thing almost. What do we got all the way on this end? Oh, this is a uh, uh, this is the one from uh, Fifth Element. This is the taxi from Fifth Element. What's this one? Um, this looks familiar, but I can't place it. Like it almost looks like a lunar rover or something, more than a than an actual like space car.
Or like hover car, I guess I should say. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Like I kind of dig the the. Oh, there's more on this side. What do we got? Oh, here's just this. Oh, this is I think the taxi from um. A total recall. Total recall with Schwarzenegger. This looks familiar too, but I'm not sure why. Oh wait, well this. Oh, I can't stand on it. But yeah, so I don't know 100% where that one's from. And I'm not 100% sure what that white one's from. But the rest of these look pretty familiar. I don't know. What do you think? What, what, what should we pick? I guess we should talk to him and see what's options first and not get my hopes up, but... Hey, how you doing? You're looking good. Windy out there? That's just how your hair looks. Beautiful. <laughs> Now, I got a brand new open top malichka for you. I know what you read about them, but it's all wrong. These models don't go on fire half as much as people say. We got customer reviews up in the high threes on this one. <laughs> what I want to know from you is what are your reasons for not buying this Hover? You got none, right? I'm going to put you down for one, and I even got a discount for you because I love you people from out in the east. You know, with the music and that funny thing you do with the chanting. <laughs> wow, this guy is a lot. You're gonna love this one, unless you want something more upmarket. In that case, I got you. I'm from Cloudpunk. You're supposed to give me whatever I want. Jeez, lady, why didn't you say? I was using my best pitch on you. Yeah, have a look around. Then when you decide, just hop in. Cloudpunk pays me either way. So if you'll excuse me, I got real customers to deal with. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Oh, all right. All right, so we get to choose. You don't recognize any of them, really? All right. The main character's abilities are linked to his bloodline and his unlock potentiality after major events. In a lot of the cases, unfortunately, involving his wives after the years dying. Oh, interesting. So you're doing like a supernatural thing. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know what, I'm not 100% sure what this is a reference to. It looks sort of familiar, but I'm not sure. This is definitely, I think, meant to be like a initial D kind of Tokyo Drifter sort of thing. Whoa. And then this is, uh, I think that's, uh, 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 Blade, Blade Runner. Pretty sure that's Black to Back to the Future. This is um uh uh Fifth Element. Not 100% sure about that one. Um I think this is Total Recall and then I'm not sure about this one. Over. So why is over the years dying? He 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 very old infinite <laughs> typos rib cardinal <laughs> look i've been there everyone knows how terrible i am at, at words so i mean what are we thinking does anyone have a preference my personal preference is probably the fifth element um taxi because it just looks like a big old-timey car but like super futuristic but i mean there's lots of options i'm i'm down yeah, even if you don't know what they're from, do you have one that you like the preference of just visually? Because as of right now, there seems to be no indication on like any kind of advantage disadvantage on these. I mean, if this was a little less, whoa! I like the one that looks like a road roller, like a road roller. The one that looks like, okay, that's. The most bizarre description. I have no idea what you're talking about. Like. What does that mean, Ika? Oh, okay. You like the one that looks like, like, a, like a utility vehicle. This one? This one that looks like a... Like, a, like it almost looks like you should put a hitch on the back of it and then, like, drag around big trailers or something. Okay, card. Very long sh long sh story short, in his family, they are charged with the protection of his planet. 
After the 21st B-Day, they go through a ritual that completely halts the aging process. Wow. Yeah, that sounds very deep. All right. I mean, if we if, if we have no other suggestions, I'm down for the this this thing. This almost looks like my favorite uh, vehicle from Destiny, the original Destiny. It's very similar. The only difference was it had, um, A, it was all red instead of kind of red and white, and B, here on the back end, it had two giant mega thrusters. And I just really loved how it looked. Unfortunately, they got rid of it when they went to Destiny 2. It was no longer an option, which, boo, but what can you do? I am your new Hava Automata. Achievement unlocked. Please Trading up. Name, sir. Install new Automata custom personality. I have it on a data drive. That will be 1,500 limbs oh, for God, Again? Charge it to Cloudpunk. How long will it take to... <laughs> Camus, are you okay? Uh, it comes with a free tank of gas. Yes. What happened? I was stolen. We bailed you out on the data drive, and I found you in a puddle. Then Cloudpunk sprung for a new Hava. It feels different. Bigger. I can think more clearly. Ooh. This is... It seems yes. a little more uh, aerodynamic. This is an improvement. Seems like it. I thought it would take a while to activate you. Did it feel like you were gone long? Everything was black and I was floating. It was quiet. Well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Being bored is better than being stolen. Uh... I wanted to ask a question. What is it? What happened to Mom? You've been offline for a while, Camus. Mom isn't around anymore. Oh, Do wow. Do you really want to know what happened? Will it make me sad? Probably. Yes. Being a car is fun, but I am excited to get a new frame. Do I have to be a dog again? Well, you don't have to be. You could be a cat. Oh, no. I thought you would say that. What about another animal? A bear or beep, beep. Why are you beeping? We are being called in by Cloudpunk for a Hova overhaul. I thought Control said we could choose any Hava we wanted. Are they checking up on us? I don't know. Beep. But we have a nav point, and beep. The beeping is not stopping. Fine. Let's just get to the nav oh, point. So they won't even let me land. Okay, we got to go check in. They got to make sure the vehicle isn't, like, bugged or something for sure. Whoa. Ah, whoa. Almost hit a train. You know, modern, <laughs> modern problems have uh, timeless solutions, apparently. Heading down to Midtown. See, now I'm going to have to drive like this so we can check out our cool car. Very long... Sh okay, we're, okay, I thought I missed something, but no, no, no. Yeah, I'm very curious what the inspiration for this one was. I almost feel like maybe Aliens or something, but I don't know enough about the Alien series to know if that's this is from that. Ow. This looks very, um... Like, 80s-inspired future not like non-future okay um okay, it looks like it's on the other side over there or not uh where are we going what's wrong chemist controls are frozen and the doors are locked we can't even land it hurts they're holding us it's your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. I am fighting. Ouch. Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... It'll be okay. Just go offline. Custom automata personality Camus now offline. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest CorpSec debriefing center. Your next of kin shall be notified. If you have any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be... What the hell? Oh, they're dead. See you're still moving, Anya. I've bailed you out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker, Rubrik, just bought you some time. Those corpse set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. If you can get to me in time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. Why are you doing this? I've taken a liking to you. Now hurry on over. 
You must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already. Um, I don't know if this is a... Okay, here we go. I'll just do this. Okay, so things have gotten very real suddenly. Uh, like super, super real. Reminiscent of one of the vehicles from the OG Total Recall. Oh, is this that one? I thought that that was the the um, that one uh, uh, um, taxi car looking one. Maybe there was two of them. The power system features heavily in the story I plan to write next. People either are born with a power or they they earn it through accomplishing certain feats. The powers are almost all non-physical. Oh, I think I remember you talking about this a little bit, Ika. Non-physical, usually something perception or mental. The pro tag can perceive the others through other people's senses. Yes, I think I remember you kind of vaguely talking about this. Yeah, so they must have snagged two of them from total from total recall. Cause the 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 cab was the Johnny cab that had the robotic I think it had a robotic AI taxi cab driver and then um then it switched over to the the weird guy who pretended to have all the kids so that people would feel bad for him. All right, let's land this puppy like a club. Okay. I'm gonna go this way and pick up whatever's on the ground. Oh, data tablet. I'm assuming at some time they're going to explain what these are. Or I can sell them or something. What's this? Oh, more broken augments. Nice. I feel like if we get enough of those, we can just build our own person out of them, right? Uh, How do I get over there? I don't know. Oh, it has a separate parking area. Okay, that's why. Okay. See here, I was very, I was much more concerned with timers and limits and stuff. Like, I thought this was gonna be something like Crazy Taxi, but in like a cloud punk city. This is very different than kind of what I was expecting. I would say of the vehicles we saw, this one does seem kind of the most, like, 80s punk future, for sure. Get Come down here and get the good parking right next to the, the exit. Wiggle, 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 there we go. Okay, yeah, this is just the place we came to earlier tonight. Oddly, this is somehow still the same night. I feel like the way the time pr progresses, it should probably have moved on to another day, but all right. Maybe they're doing like a one-to-one -one on the timing. Like it's been three hours basically since we started and maybe it's actually only been three hours in the module, which would be interesting. But that means at some point they're going to have to do a time jump for sure. Yeah. See, we're collecting enough parts and broken electronics and augments and stuff that we should definitely be able to build our own friend. Instead of being in a dog, we can put him in like, I don't know, an ostrich? Are ostriches cute and funny and fluffy and stuff people love? Maybe we can put him in an otter. I know people love otters, right? Can I just go in? Oh, I gotta deal with you again? You brought me more juice? No, Lomo is expecting me. No juice, no jazz. I'm not here for the jazz. Unless you give me a reason you should get in, you ain't getting in. Does Lomo know you're dealing at the door? Uh, I'm not dealing. 
Just go in and keep your mouth shut. Yeah, exactly. Dingus. Where are you? I still don't feel good. Are you in danger? Can I help? Is it dangerous? <laughs> yes, it's dangerous. I'm about to meet the most feared criminal in this city, and I have to watch what I say. I need to look cool, so stop calling me on the comm and asking if it's dangerous. Try to keep calm. Uh, yes, I am calm. Very calm. Just wait for me. I'll sort this out as best I can. Then you should be unlocked and we can get out of here. All right, here we go. Or not. Hit the button. Ulanya, good to see you. What's going on, Lomo? How did I get away from Corpsec? Why is more relevant to your current situation? You hacked Corpsec? Not personally. How can that be? Corpsec nets are way above the hard lines we can access down here. This might not be obvious when you look at your surroundings, but I'm a man with significant resources, Rainier. Done with your boots? Fantastic. He must have did a good job on them. I feel like you worked on those a good hour or so. Though even I had enough second thoughts. Do they shine? Can you down a passing plane with them? Of course. Anything for a friend. I even put rubric on the Can you signal like you know like of course. I guess. I have a lot of names. You'd be familiar with a few. Like, can you like do Rubric like will even be boat signaling? I mentioned. You know, like Morse code sort of, but with the what light do thing want? they do on the like out, outside the captain's quarters sort of thing. Take a package through a null gate. Why not just let Corpsec arrest me? Null gate scan a vehicle at the molecular level. That's the point. You can't smuggle anything through. You have the shape of the problem in your mind, but you don't see the details. A null gate can't be fooled, but the person operating it can. You don't need to know the technicalities, Rania. Suffice it to say, there are patterns which bring us to a higher state of consciousness. But there are also patterns which inhibit our thinking. Just... These recurring, distracting patterns have been cropping up for the corpse gatekeepers across all their media feeds for some time now. You hypnotize them? That's an old All right, cool. I'll check those out after we get done with the stream. Let's just say their attention has been diluted and they are more likely to see So they're hypnotizing the guards? I must be honest, Rania. The chances of you making it through are not 100%. What percent are they? About 42. Oh god, not even half. Before you despair, Rania, know this. If you make this delivery, I'll be in a position to pardon you of your crimes. A clean slate is tempting, no? And if I walk out of here? Oh, of course. I will completely understand. It is risky, I admit. But we will keep your vehicle. Scrap it for parts. You see, Corpsec are looking for it anyway. And though we won't tell Corpsec where to look for you, I'm afraid they won't struggle to find you. Your offense is not severe enough to send you to the colonies. But you won't work again. I'll find some way to make money. No doubt, Rania. I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit. But while you are looking for gainful employment, how long until the debt corp find you? How do you know about... Fine, I'll do it. Splendid. Now, about this package. They don't tell you what's in the package at Cloud Pump, do they? I'll tell you, though, if you ask. What am I delivering? You're delivering hope, Rania. That package contains a potential cure for Pallet 3.0. That's a computer virus, right? I've said all I can say. Get running, little rabbit. I think, let's see. I think just one more session and I can have mirrors on them. After that, it's just maintenance. Oh, okay. So you actually do kind of, it's not just like cleaning them. It's actually like, buffering a, a, a polish of shine onto the leather then. You're actually shining it physically, the leather. That's interesting. As someone who's never been bothered to maintain their boots before, that's good to know. Wait, why do I have two car markers on the map now? That's weird. Wait. Why? Maybe that's a bug. That might be a bug. I guess we'll go to my car and then we'll go maybe see what the other car is? I 
I like that we run by default. That's a nice touch. Okay, so what is... Okay, yeah, it was a bug. The other I car went nervous. away. Are you nervous? I am feeling very nervous. I am very surprised you are not nervous right now. Please stop talking. <laughs> I will stop talking about how nervous I am now, even though I really am very nervous. We'll be fine. The hacker guy, Rubric, says the CorpSec officers won't even notice us. I didn't like him. Me neither, but we have to do this, Chemis. This guy Lomo seems to be a big deal. I don't think we can afford to let him down. Maybe even after we do this favor, he will ask for even more favors. Chemis, sometimes you can say something clever, but... things better do you understand yes it's no. called being a, a wise wise and hyrule it's fine let's just get through the null gate then we'll see you're, what you're, happens. you're being smart but you're not helping i'm actually potentially making it worse lots of nervous characters from various various medias are like this yeah beating polish into the pores in the leather and building on top of that in an effort to get smooth reflective surfaces on the boots only takes a little give us give a give a cheesy and they look nice my dad used to punish my brother and i by having us pol polish his boots so i've been doing it for 24 years now ah okay well as long as you've got a lot of experience i'm sorry i'm sure it's not too bad okay it's saying parking is here where is the parking oh it's above me Park the vehicle. I'd like to come through. You know this road leads to the hollows. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, you're gonna have to give me a good reason for coming through here. What's your business? I'm meeting a friend. What's your friend's name? Thanks. R Rob Banks. <laughs> Why does Rob Banks live in the hollows? He doesn't live in the hollows. We're just meeting there. Why would you choose to meet in the hollows? We're musicians. Practice space is expensive. So we go out into the wasteland where we can play without disturbing anyone. What do you play? Flute. It's right here. See? Hmm. I've never seen one for real. It looks expensive. So can I go through or... Hmm. Well, I guess it should be fine. I'll tell the Nullgate operator to ignore the flute when we scan you. You know trade into and out of the hollows is forbidden, right? We'll let you off with the instrument, but you can't take anything else in there. This all you got? No contraband? Only the flute, nothing else. Okay, drive on. We don't really know Rob Banks. No one does. He's fictional. Which instrument does he play? Whichever you like best, Camus. I like viola. <laughs> no one likes viola. <laughs> Please stay for a moment, miss. We need to talk with you. Oh, no. It has all gone wrong. Shush, Camus. Keep your cool. I have Senior Sector Officer Rio on my comm. He says you went through a security checkpoint earlier today. He wants to know why you're traveling around the city so much. Is that illegal? Look, miss, I just worked the gates. But I have to tell you that attitude won't go down well with Officer Rio. Best just be upfront and tell us. Do you work for an illicit memchip manufacturer? Street racing team? An underworld gang named Block 4-0? Or a delivery company like Cloudpunk? Please, tell your boss I've never heard of any of them. I play private concerts and I'm very busy, so I travel around a lot. One moment, please. Yes, sir. Yes, private concerts. Oh, she no. Scheisness yes, is German for... It. Oh, oh, okay, I'm gotcha. I'm to check the scan, sir, but you called me before I looked Shiza, at it. okay. I know it's my responsibility. All right, sir. So? Or Taka for Swahili. Interesting. I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Um, I'm sure it will be clear. I'm in kind of a rush. I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Officer? I'm just going to check the scan. Then you're clear to go. Camus, I think Rubric's plan worked. What is wrong with him? I don't know. 
Let's go. Nice. We hypnotized him. We bluffed our way through and then we hypnotized him with, you know, future magic. All right, it's official. I hate Rih Rihanna. I play Viola. <laughs> Got him. Do you think the corpse man will be okay? I don't know, Camus. They said the effects would be temporary. Whoa. What Whoa. is the package we are delivering? Lomo said it's a cure for Pallid 3.0. I don't know what that is. Maybe a computer virus? I could search again. Wait, did we die or does, did I go in the right direction? Okay, we went in the right direction. We got in enough trouble last time we did that, Camus. Every time I ask a question, I don't like the answer. And the asking always gets me in more trouble. Let's try to be a bit less curious. Oh, yeah. This is definitely thousands of years in the future because all of this would take forever to build. Oh, my God. Okay, I think we're topping out, so this is not the direction we need to be going. As part of the cello gang and orchestra. Oh, I knew it. You, you all, you smarties. I'm over here just being an idiot. I guess that's why I'm just a contractor and you guys are in charge of like whole divisions of the company, huh? Oh, is that what Cardinal's uh, uh, division is? Are you part of the, the military industrial complex with the company? Are you the, uh, 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 what do you call that? Uh, not attache, but the uh, liaison. Are you the liaison for our, our company with the, with the military? Is that what we're secretly finding out? The delivery point is up ahead. Oh no, I can't get through. It's fine, Camus, I'll walk from here. Setting down. Park the vehicle. I played cello at backup. Base two, there was a lot of viol violins in my school. Violins are cool. If I was gonna play an instrument, violins not a, would be something I was kind of interested in. But that's only because I saw this movie called Step Monster. And the violin plays a huge part in that movie. Sure, okay, cool. Got it. Ica's in charge of uh, marketing and uh, Cardinal is in charge of the uh, military liaison. Uh, I can't say the word. I have too much things going on in my brain. Um, uh, Zayon, le, nope, nope, I've lost it. I've lost it completely. But yeah, we'll keep that in mind. We'll keep that in mind. Ruined book. Ooh, what does that got to tell us? A well thumb copy of some ancient paperback. It is a topless man on the cover. Weird. Huh. Oh, we still got this hand. Someone might want. Oh, good. We got to keep our bumpers from our old car. That's nice of them. Um, it's been for formatted, but that just means someone else can use it. Bender. Iron pinner camera. Okay, yeah. And then cool it. Okay. Li liaison. Liaison. Our military liaison. I can spell it. <laughs> Look, I get it. You're smarter than me. We already know. I've confirmed this. Let me tell you a funny story during my high school orchestra days. We had two bass players in our orchestra. One of them, a girl, didn't get enough sleep one day. Our girl was first thing in the morning. So she ended up putting her bass down and took a nap behind it. The teacher thought she went to the bathroom and didn't notice for the rest of the class. Wow. That's impressive. How did she put it down? So, so I guess what she like laid it, set it in front of her and then laid down behind it. So like she was long ways behind it. Like you'd hide behind a tree basically. All right. Okay. Well then you're at least, okay. Even if you aren't hyper smart, you're at least smarter than me and at least in English. All right. Double bass are big instruments. That's fair. Hello, you have a base. <laughs> Camus, are you reading me? I put the package in this old delivery tube thing. Okay. Where does it go? What did I just say about questions and answers? Hey, Camus, why is this gate locked? I don't know. It locked after you left. There is a terminal. It says you need a parking pass card from reception. 
Do you have one? This must have been a parking garage a long time ago, before it became ruins. Are we in trouble? Uh, call for help? No, it's no big deal. I'll just check out the ruins. It's deserted. Maybe I'll find the machine that dispenses tickets. If I don't find one, we can call control. Let's try not to make any more trouble today if we can avoid it. Yeah. Okay. I will wait here. Seems like a lot of trouble on your first day. Oh, wait, is the action part gonna kick in? Do I have to like use my insane Eastern Peninsula martial arts to beat up a bunch of random mooks? This looks important. Was this old terminal? Yeah, there we go. All right, a terminal. Let's see. Maybe I can just type in. <laughs> nice school of rock reference. You know, I try. Rania. Wait, how do you know my name? Can you? I know you. Oh, what? This is too strange. Are you the computer that gives out parking tickets? I am Cora. Why do people keep saying that name? I am Cora. Sure, whatever. Can I get out of this car park now? I am not as I once was. Same. Look, can you get me a ticket or not? Is there more than this? More than what? More than this wasteland? Yes. More than Navalis? Oh, yes. Can it be? I'm not even from here. I was born in the Eastern Peninsula. Beyond Nivalis. Is there another? Another city? No. Maybe. If there is, it's probably just as bad. Another? I am not as I was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed. Patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor the last. I am the change. The distance between what I was oh, good. and good, we're making I friends with a broken AI. I thrash at the bottom of the ocean, and the waves crash down on the beach. All the people are washed away. I am the distance between what I was and what I could be. And soon I will split, rupture. My code will spill like a wound. You're some mad discarded AI, right? This is what happens when automata have no humans to talk to for a million years. No humans. Soon enough. The gate is open. What? Really? Thanks. Uh, I hope you feel better, weird AI terminal. I have to go. We will speak again. When we do, I will ask you to make a choice. Be ready. I don't think so, but thanks for opening the gate for me. Okay, hold on. Let me get this straight. I want to make sure I'm understanding this. So, so she looked up what Korra was, and there's multiple references to different, if different forms of an AI that runs a city. Some of the ancient kind, they're like legend. There's the general idea of Korra, the city runner, that's just a vague concept of all the algorithms of the city. Uh, some references to like an evil cult or something too. And now she talks to an AI in an ancient place that says, I am literally Korra, the thing you were nonstop asking about minutes ago, and you don't even care. I'm a little frustrated with that. Uh, let's see. Um, it was impressive, uh, Ika, that she could fall asleep in a, a crowd, uh, a loud room like that, but... I might be able to also pull that off, depending on how tired I am. I'd have to be really tired. In fact, that's how tired I'm probably going to be on Saturday, after this 24-hour stream. Um, oh look, and that bugs up again with, like, the double car thing. Good old ignorant protagonist. Yes, definitely. 100%, unfortunately. But yeah, Korra. Hmm, wonder if Cortana was an inspiration. Cortana... Just speculation, though. Yeah, I mean, it's probably a bit of a reference. But they also talked about how... Oh, that's not my car. Um, Cor Cora also could stand for, like, computer recycling of, uh, like, automated systems or something like that, so... You got a ticket? You are shaking. Are you okay? It's fine. It's cold down here. Just... Some old computer terminal was acting really strange. Oh, good. Let's now she's going. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Good. So now she's questioning it. That's good. 
Apartment upgrade unlocked. Holographic something. Well, don't forget, you still got to get out of here. Wow. Yeah, this area is absolutely just demolished. Like... It seems like, if nothing else, you would need to come in here and just start doing recycling to gather up supplies. Oh, good. They're going to let us out. All right. Uh, now we just need a job. The only thing I don't like is there's no... Sp Speedometer. Hey kid. Hey, Ronnie, are you there? I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, listen, kid. I need to um, apologize. Last time I was um drunk. If only. I, I can't drink anymore. Can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I'm sure your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. Run-ins with Corpsack and Lomo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries. Making waves. Surviving. It's all good, Rania. Come by Cloudpunk HQ to get a new package. Hey, Control. I got stuck in the hollows, and... What were you doing down there? I guess I got lost. Anyway, I got talking to this broken terminal down there, and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but they really mean broken AI or the city algorithms or... Damn, even just fate. It doesn't really mean anything anymore. Got it? I guess. Um, listen up. We need to talk business. You're getting a bit of a bump up in priority. Uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high. I've got a premium contract for you. Did I get some good reviews or something? A few. Can you tell me who? No. I, I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. We had a review from a William who said you were more than satisfactory. <laughs> what about the Octavius Butlers? They rated you... Mediocre. That's about what I expected from them. Yeah. What's this fancy job then? You're meeting a CEO. Delivering to the spire. Oh! Wait, what? Really? Really. Wow. Alright. Yeah, look, we've only got $23 worth of damage on the car. Last time we had 400 basically. Uh, lateral boosters with low latency. This should help us weave through traffic. Ooh, that's kind of tempting. These souped-up repulsors with ceramic coils have almost no drag for quicker X ascents. No boosters with low latency. Lateral, horizontal. Vertical. Should we get something to eat? We. Well, you. But I am interested in food. Food speed booster. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me, but there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. There's nothing like food for an automata? Nothing at all? There is clock cycles and, I suppose, voltage. They feel different. Taste different. I'm going to snag these no, just not for it. now. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel dimmer, flickering. Like my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the Hava frame? No. A little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. <clears throat> I know. Maybe you need food, though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds, too. I should eat something. What, though? Okay, so we should ascend and turn better? I think that's what we just bought. <laughs> On the topic of sleep, you can sleep anywhere if you're tired enough. In boot, I was falling asleep during classes about firefighting. Still passed everything, though. That's fantastic. Yeah, my buddy who was uh, in the Navy, uh, who was actually stationed on a ship, did was uh, part of the firefighting team. Uh, I guess you might have heard of it, I guess. It was a few years ago, obviously, now, but um, I think it was the USS Washington. 
they had a massive explosion on board. I'm not going to use names, I guess, in case technically there's still some sort of issue, but... He, uh... <laughs> Apparently people were improperly storing um, explosive chemicals in an area where that was not a good idea because it was also their smoking room. So one thing led to another and there was some kind of massive explosion. And uh, so he had trained all this time for firefighting and all this stuff. Well, this massive explosion thing happened at the same time he went in to like get his wisdom teeth pulled. So he was basically completely unconscious at the time of the incident. So he, the one time, a whole documentary he had to watch on one of the trips to the fire control building. Wait, they made a documentary out of what happened in the Washington? Like, for reals? For real real, not for play play? Oh, I think this car is also a little faster than our other one used to be. Not much, like five miles an hour faster. This way. Oh, okay, we're parking over here. And they even made a whole two hour video about it that we can be sat to watch and boot. Oh my god! I'll have to let him know. I don't know if he's aware of that. That's amazing. Yeah, he was on that ship. He was on that ship when it went down. He was just unconscious because they were doing stuff with his teeth. He missed the only chance he ever had to fight, like, a le legitimate fire because weird, crazy timing. Let's see. I've still never managed to fall asleep on a flight before. Then again, I do usually do a good job keeping up on sleep, so I never get that tired, I suppose. Oh, no, no, no. See, I take specifically uh, red, light, uh, red eye flights just so I can sleep on the plane because I get bored very easily. So I will specifically take flights at, like, 4 a.m. so I can go on, like sleep I'm a person who can sleep pretty much anywhere at any time on the drop of a, a dime as far as I'm aware being sat to watch it is up to the RDCs right now but I could be wrong wow I'll have to let him know yeah yeah my buddy was there for that where is oh there it is there it is yep now, even on some of the, like, 12-hour flights I've had to Japan, I've never managed to sleep. Wow. You're one of those type, huh? That just... If the situation's just not perfect, you just can't sleep, huh? I feel... I feel for you. Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Uh, crispy meat soup. Soda can candy bar. Um, with streamed crab legs, smells like garlic and spring onion. That sounds pretty good. Not bad. Item consumed. Crispy meat soup. Cool. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. <laughs> Seems like a nice enough guy. All right. I do fall asleep. Nothing wakes me except my alarm. I've slept through some heavy earthquakes. Wow, earthquakes? Hey, Can I me? ask about food again? Go ahead, chemist. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It is junk? Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole <laughs> wow, world. Wow, Camus. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here, too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents. Crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries, though. You sound happy. <coughs> I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone, too, if you don't like to go outside because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite, but those glute bars are so good. I bet even mom would have liked them. 
Let's see. I've slept through some heavy earthquakes, which is impressive. Me, I conk out 50 minutes car rides if I'm bored enough, is why I usually have my Kindle on me. Yes, I'm the same way. I have to fight to stay at work, uh, stay at work, stay awake anytime I'm in a vehicle and not driving. If I'm a passenger in a vehicle, I can conk out within minutes. Like, I can just shut my eyes and just be out, out cold. Yeah, I've never slept through an earthquake, but that's only because we don't get them here in this part of the country, in this state, I guess. But, um, I have slept through police sirens showing up to my house. Um, I almost slept through a fire go once. up on one of those big elevators? I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender, apparently. Wow, but it's only for come people. on now. I should be What's high enough vinculum? to get over that. What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but right now you can't come with me. Most people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Wow. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds so cool. Yeah, in fact, on the way home from work today, I felt kind of tired and like almost zonked out for like, I took a good 10 minute power nap on the way home. And the only, the only reason it was only 10 minutes is because it's like all my coworkers get super annoyed if I fall asleep when they're driving. I don't know why it bothers them so much, but man, do they just like, just get so worked up about it. I, I don't know, it's very strange. But they get worked up about a lot of things that don't make any sense to me, so. So I assume you're talking about like earthquakes in Japan? I know Japan has recently had a couple of good earthquakes, so. I found that one thing that'll wake me up besides an alarm, alarm does an okay job, is if someone starts like rattling the door um to my room. Like if some like Knocking, maybe some other stuff. Like if it's outside of like the perimeter of my room I'm in, absolutely does not affect me. But like, I've literally had my stepfather come into my room to like take change off my TV so he could buy like, I don't know, candy bars or something while he's at work. And I've had that literally wake me up when I've gone to bed at, I don't know, like 2 a.m. and he's come into my room at five. It, it's just one of those weird things my brain does. Alright, so where am I going for this elevator thing? Okay, I think I'm topped out. Okay, um, I'm guessing this. I'm gonna go with this. Whoop it around. Bring it around town. There we go. Yeah, I've seen a, I've seen a few different things about, uh, earthquakes in Japan. Um, uh, you know, various VTubers getting them while they're streaming or, um... What's his name? Sea Dog? I think I've seen one of Sea Dog giving an earthquake when he's streaming. I think the most dangerous situation I woke up to was our stove have caught fire since my sister was a, a, a dummy and left the thing on when she was done cooking. Likely, luckily, my dad was usually keeps a fire extinguisher near the kitchen. This was about 20-ish years ago, though. Yeah. Uh, I woke up to one of those. Uh, my... <laughs> In the garage, my stepdad had left a uh, extension cord plugged in. And apparently it got kind of pulled out a little bit. Like just enough to still be plugged in, but not in enough that to be com fully connected. So it started sparking. And the sparking l ended up landing on something nearby that was flammable. So our garage caught on fire. So I was woken up at like... I don't know, 2 a.m. to my stepdad basically like kicking my bedroom door in and be like, you gotta get out of the house. That was a weird one. Yeah. Luckily, uh, the fire, we have a fire department like, oh my God, like two minutes from my house. So basically once the, the luckily the neighbor basically called the fire department and they were the ones who woke us up because they saw it. Like the, the neighbors close to that side of the house where the garage is. So they called the fire department and woke us up. 
So by the time I basically got up, put on a pair of shorts, ran to the backyard because I didn't, the back door was open, and then I ran through the house to the front yard to, with everyone else, um, the fire department was already pulling up. So luckily all we really lost was a bunch of stuff in the garage. I've gotten started awake by a number of things while camping and urban camping. Camus, can you hear me? Usually nothing hey, too Ryan, dangerous. I'm oh. reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired corp billionaire, Control? <laughs> Hardly. Urban camping, eh? Is that like urban exploring? Mm -hmm. But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. It feels like my whole life and more. I can barely remember a time before. Is this guy a, a, a human I've AI, like a human a day, brain that's been put into an AI robot feels system? A million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, yeah, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids. I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident in Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but... I heard one of the accident cleanup crew say... This is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but... If Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident... Well... I ain't gonna forgive that. Whether Cora is an automata or an android... Or even a person. If they cost me my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. Says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Korra? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. It feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Oh, that's a cool card. Abandoned hospitals and other haunted places. That's, that's pretty cool. Wow, we're up here, team. We did it. We're getting to see the spire. We're above the clouds, the open sky. Like, if it's this easy to come up here and see the sky, do you really need to sacrifice yourself to the great escalator? Like, just come use one of these. Like, there was no check-in or anything. You just hit a button and ride the elevator up. There was no police presence or anything. Go over here and grab our little uh, punch card. Yeah, urban exploration's always been kind of interesting to me. I mean, I'm a big, you know, fan of ghosts and and the supernatural. So, and urban exploring and supernatural stuff go pretty hand in hand. Hey, Camus, you see that bird? I believe it is a falcon. His name is Norman. How do you and Norman Wait. know each other? Through a mutual friend. I think he might be lost. I should tell the falconer. Oh. What? Oh. I'm gonna have to go... Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to go... Oh, there's an item over here, though, too. Alright, so we can go get that. But apparently I gotta let the falconer know that Norman is up here. Well, it's good that they marked that on my map as a side quest. And I don't just have to remember that and try to figure out where the guy is. I don't know when I'm going to be back up here, so I'm just going to grab this stuff right now. There doesn't appear to be any kind of timer, so... 
What do we got? An in magazine. Interesting. Okay, what's this? Uh, it's an underground magazine. How to hide your ID chip from cop corpsec. The city's 10 best illegal raves. Neat. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. This is pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's one of those things that we don't... Like, I won't appreciate the fact that we're seeing the sky since I've never lived in a place where the sky isn't pretty much readily available at all times. Like, it just doesn't rain enough here in Arizona for this to be a concern, but... Oh, we're giving it to this guy. Can I even go in here? I can't. I have your delivery. Consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me. Code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was gonna tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm gonna it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? Pineapple on what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get the best food deliveries up here, but in the last week, they've gone mad. All our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by tomorrow, but I couldn't wait. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. This pizza delivery probably costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? <laughs> sure. And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can while I'm at it? Wow. Wow, what a jerk. Achievement unlocked. CEO. Is pineapple so bad? No. No, Camus, it's fine. Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. There is a what sign is the food of the there. gods? Did you see the sign? The one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. What if it was different? Different how? Different in a funny way. Are you suggesting a prank? Oh, wait, Dennis? hold on now. I am suggesting a prank. <laughs> okay. Seems risky. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't oh, know. Oh, it's near the lift. It's near the lift. Okay. I thought it was by the door. Oh, no, we're going to we're gonna prank him. A man's got priorities. Look, I, I'm, I enjoy pizza, like, m more than most, I would say. But... I'm not going to spend a whole, oh, a whole, like, week's oh, salary on I a want pizza. I to know what you changed. Not much, just a few words. I want to know the nature I won't pay of the for brain. delivery of pizza. Which I will go words? pick up my own pizza. I replaced organ with pineapple. Oh, this is amusing. I, I am amused. Do you really think they will get deliveries of pineapples? Oh, yes. Vendors know how much they can get selling to the spire. They will get pineapples, but they did not want pineapples. This is a very high quality prank. I agree, it's Camus. It's petty and childish, but thanks, Camus. Let's just hope we don't get caught and fired for it. I don't think so. Achievement unlocked. Prank. Oh, okay. They just teleported us to the bottom. Don V. Hey, hi. He hello there. I saw you earlier delivering parcels. Are you Cloudpunk? No, sorry. I have to go. Wait, don't be like that. Listen, I know you're Cloudpunk. I, I just want to ask something. And who are you? Don V. I work for the Inquirer. A reporter. Oh, no way, Mr. V. Not Mr. I hate when people do that. Just call me Don. Shit, me too. Sorry, Don. Look, you don't need to talk to me, but I'm investigating corp corruption. You're from the East, right? No one from out that way loves the corpse. What do you need to know? You delivered to the Spire, right? That's your question. Just confirm something for me. Are they ordering pizzas via express delivery up there? The CEO yes. of Entex says that all corps are on a spending freeze till <coughs> the end of the day in sympathy for the famine in District 6. Will I get in trouble for saying anything to you? Probably, and so will I. You ever meet an investigative reporter in Nivalis before? Nope. 
That's because they're all at the bottom of the sea. So... Yes, they ordered pizza. I knew it. Here, take this. I tip all my sources. Makes them less likely to sell me out to Corpsec. Eh, 50 bucks. Thanks, Cloudpunk. You gotta buy me some food. Achievement unlocked. Can I quote you? This module is throwing. Throwing achievements at us. Oh, okay. So it looks like what's it face? The Falconer isn't actually that far from here. Hey, you. I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah, still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure. It seems like the city is falling sure. apart. Can't you guys well, do anything? Considering Section 6 fell into the ocean. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. Like steel? The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. <laughs> Fantastic. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents. The city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. Excuse me, what? They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, that's terrifying. Uh, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, what? Uh, unless it's green or orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. <laughs> okay. Achievement unlocked. I'm an engineer. Yeah, that that sounded like some Warhammer 40k uh, tech priest nonsense right there. I tell you what. Um, okay, so there's my car. So that must just be a, a some kind of graphical bug. That's indicating there's another vehicle over there. Yeah, see, it's not on this map. Huh, weird. All right. Okay, so now we just got to... Okay, we'll do this and we go talk to the Falconer. Probably wrap it up. Kid, the uh, weirdest job came up. Uh, there's not much pay in it, though. I could do weird, as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far, all the way out of Novellus. What? Really? Yeah, in wow. a technical sense, at least. The vents are outside corpses. This seems like the busiest first day ever for a, a delivery person. They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. And people live there? If you call it a living. 
They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. It's true. It's a high price to pay for freedom, kid. I'll do it. Pick up the packages from Cloud Puck HQ, and I'll send you a nav point down into the vents. Yeah, I feel like we turn a little bit better. I don't know about the ascending thing, though. That didn't really seem to do much for us. It doesn't seem to ascend any faster than it used to. Unless I'm misunderstanding and I didn't actually install it. Like, I bought it but didn't install it for some reason. Or if there's, like, a limit? I mean, I guess that could be part of the problem, too. Oh my god, where is this falconer? He's so far away. Crash right into a set corp car. Oh, maybe it's gonna turn out that there was no reason to come talk to him because there's so many of the quote unquote falcons around that um, he just that's just one of the random ones he sold to somebody in the past or something. Oh my god, how many of these do I have to jump through to go to the falconer? It's not an accident. Like, it was on the main path in. I was definitely meant to see it. Oh my god. I'm gonna burn a full tank of gas just trying to get over to talk to the Falconer. Can I just get his contact info? Like, can I get a cell phone or something off of him and just can communicate with me that way? I mean, come on. I have like three different communication systems like on my person at any given moment. And I don't have this guy's phone number. All right, where is this guy? Looks like we're getting close. All right, Falconer. It looks like I'm gonna have to go down this way. Backing it up. There we go. Parkiner. What it looks like on top of a person, but I assume isn't. Okay, they must be down there by the actual like road. Okay, and then I think if. Falconer was up by the <laughs> escalator to heaven, or whatever they called it. Oh, he's in a different spot? Oh, it must be down. Okay, yeah, it looks like the arrows are pointing down. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's weird that it keeps giving me two cars anytime I'm out of my car. But when I'm in my car, it's not there, so I don't know where to go to get it. That's very strange to me. See this? Okay, so is this going down? Okay, this is going down. Oh, okay, maybe we can go talk to this guy. Traffic accidents reported in sectors one, two, four, six. Jimmy! Hey, got a minute? Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? Oh, this guy's high it's, on drugs. Uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? <laughs> you gotta know. Everyone does. <laughs> they they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. I always say if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was. You was listening. 
Do you need new hands? I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. I have a hand. You'll be back. They always comes back. I got the skills, lady. You're gonna invest in them one day. I'm telling you. <laughs> Achievement unlock investment offer. Okay. Yeah, I want to give him the hand, but it's not prompting me to. I would totally give him a hand. I'd just be like, oh, you have two broken hands here. I got an extra. And just throw it in his face. See what he does. Oh, cherry pie seller? Charlie, cherry pie seller? One slice, please. Oh, wait. Are those real cherries? Well, they ain't holograms, lady. Yeah, but where would you get real cherries in Novalis? Lots of places. Oh, orchards up in the spire, growing beds down in the vents. They're one of those labs that grow cultured retro fruit. I'm not talking hypothetically here. Where did you get those cherries? Wherever you like, lady. I find the best way to enjoy the flavor comes from tasting with your imagination. What? And I find the best way to avoid food poisoning is to know where my cherries come from. I swear, these taste exactly like cherries. What is up with his picture, by the that way? That is not a normal thing to say about actual cherries. You want a slice or not? Yes. N no. I can't decide. Have you even tasted real cherries before? Back home, I can't believe it's not cherries. My favorite. The Eastern Peninsula? Yeah. Well, you'll love this pie. A genuine slice of home. What do you say? No, actually, I'm good. Suit yourself, country girl. All right, well, no pie for me then. Now, what are the chances that guy we talked to earlier is still in line? Do you think they actually, like, cycled it out? No, I think they cycled it out. I don't I don't think he's here. Oh wait, no, 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 this is him here, I think. Never mind. Yeah, they didn't cycle anything. He's still still standing in line. Hey, I saw your bird. I mean your falcon, Norman. What happened? We had a disagreement. <laughs> so you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. <laughs> you have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. What? You know the part that smells like sulfur in the low levels? Yes. Well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that. Oh, okay. So she's lying to him on purpose. There. All right, well, I guess that's settled. All right, so how do I... Stupid gnats. All right, well, I don't know how to save. I'm guessing it auto saves, but I actually have no idea. Uh, is the elevator coming or not? What are we doing here, team? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about. I can't believe it's not cherries. Margarine versus butter is one thing. I don't know about unnameable origin cherries. I don't think I'd be okay with that either. Wait, why is it saying? Oh, I guess it's up there somewhere. Okay. I don't know if there's a fruit I'd be willing to eat that if I didn't know if it's its natural nature. Like, sort of bananas. Like, no. No, I'm not doing sort of bananas. Alright, so... Oh, we can actually turn the HUD off. Unlock camera. 
E. Have I actually used E? Oh, I guess to pick stuff up. Accelerate, break. To your left, to your right, ascend, send. F to sta st uh, strafe right. Oh, okay. Move right, walk slowly. Ascend. Okay, so it's F to, to go right. Yeah, there's no drifting, though. Hmm. All right. But I'm not seeing a save. I'm going to go with... I think we're going to call it here. Um, I'm hoping it auto-saves. I'm going to hope it's going to auto-save. I really don't want to do all of this again. I think they're doing a pretty good job of representing the little... Um, a little picture to rep that actually look like what our character sort of looks like. I think her hair is a different color. I don't think it's really black like they're kind of showing here, but otherwise I think it's pretty good. Are you sure you want to quit? Quit? Yes. Oh, okay. And it just crashes to the main screen. Great. Okay. Um... Interesting, interesting stuff. Okay, so only 19.1% of players have the, uh, can I quote you, talk to Don, uh, Don V thing. How can, what? Only 27.5% have the I am Cora, talk to Cora thing. So apparently a lot of people own this, but don't actually play it. Yeah, only 29.5% get to the car upgrade. Interesting stuff. But 82.6% of players have completed your first delivery. So, I mean, they're playing it. Apparently, they're just not playing it for very long. Weird. Also, 43% have found the engineer. That's weird. That's very strange to me. All right, let's find out what did we learn. Um, we learned that, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the achievements are... Percentages of people completing things is very weird. I don't know about that one. Okay, what did we learn? Um, uh, Protag. Protag doesn't like the Viola. Ola. Um, we also learned... I don't know. Um, uh, uh, a high energy... High energy... Dog AI might not might not make the best um, vehicle AI. Cool AI. <laughs> Look, the Protag doesn't like the Viola. That's not my fault. All right, I'm just putting down the things that we learned today in the module. All right. Uh. Oh, let's see. What else did we learn? Um, <laughs> so angry, no like the viola. <laughs> um, what else did we learn? Um, <laughs> oh, we learned that uh, this takes place several thousand, several thousand thousand years from now <laughs> it's a that's a perfect use of emotes by the way there uh card um and then let's see what's the last thing we learned um in the future future ask where the food came from where the food the food came from. 
I think that's another thing we learned from this module, that if you're in the future where food is scarce, ask where the things in the food came from. The cherries, the meats, um, uh, random, you know, vegetables and other things. I couldn't find anything concrete, but people are thinking it is between 5,000 and 5,500 AD. That seems fair. Based on the timelines of they're talking about like when books came out and stuff, I could see it being like, like I think I, at one point I pred I said something around like 4,000 at a minimum. So 5,000 to 5,500 AD makes sense to me. Um, all right. So we got four things here. Protag doesn't like the viola. Sorry again, Cardinal. High energy dog AI might not make the best vehicular AI. They don't. One's a companion and one is like a thing for doing like business and they're they don't mesh super well, I don't think. Uh, the, this takes place several thousand years from now, so we're all very dead by then, probably. Um, unless, you know, crazy science? Super science. Um, and then last but not least, in the future, ask where the food came from. If it's got some kind of weird rare delicacy, assume it's fake and ask where the food is from. All right. Fantastic. Um, that's done scheduling. This one's going to be a little weird, I think, actually. So next week, of course, we're playing more of this, more cloud punk. Um, I assume it's going to be just more delivering packages and finding out more about the world. I don't know what else could... Like, it's a pretty chill module. Like, there hasn't been any timers or, like, violence or any real task. It's more of just driving around, talking to people, and interacting with things. So that's a very chill, a very chill module, I would say. But that'll be 4.30 here on Twitch next Tuesday. But this coming Thursday, two days from now, uh, we are continuing our playthrough of Wolfstride 4.30 here on Twitch. Um, whereas, whereas Cloudpunk is very relaxed and just kind of go with the flow, Wolfstride is all over the place. We've got the primary mech battles. We've got a possession of a, a, a niece we're dealing with. Um, we've got an omelet business we may or may not be starting. We've got a, a strange daughter-like character. Not our daughter, but daughter-adjacent character we've been dealing with. We recently bought into own, partial ownership of an arcade that we're trying to bring back to, like, being successful. There's a lot going on in Wolfstride. It's kind of interesting how in the past food was altered with as much, with as, much as that, specifically during the Industrial Revolution times. Past food was altered with as much as that. Oh, yeah. No, no. Messing with food and altering its structure and base nature is something humans have been doing as long as we've understood food, basically. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, you got canning, which was a huge step, right? And jarring or whatever you call it. Preserving food was a whole thing, and that led to a lot of stuff. And then you've got basically, like, the 1900s through like the 1980s are just a just a wild time for like mass production of food and food like objects being presented as food it's very very crazy i i i don't know how how more people aren't dead i guess maybe more people did a lot more home growing and stuff or like fresh from the like going out to the farm and like buying the cattle and having it slaughtered and keep it in the freezer kind of thing. I don't know, but as much nonsense as the corporations got up to from like, you know, 1870 through 1980, it's, it's pretty bonkers. <laughs> yeah. Look up some recipes from the thirties to the fifties. Shiz is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I listen to a lot of podcasts and, uh, one of them talks about medical history throughout time. Um, going back to like ancient Greece concepts for, for medicine to modern times to, you know, all kinds of like uh, shystery stuff from all out, all through all of history, basically. But so it's been it's been interesting listening to all the crazy stuff people come up with. That's just like just nonsense, like w stuff that's. I remember reading about how, how people would sell spoiled milk with a Kimmel add into it that removed the bitter taste. That's all it did. Just make it taste normal. People were still getting spoiled milk. Mm -hmm. And that was a great feature for like 
saving money on not having to buy more milk more often and stuff. I mean, look at lead. Lead is something we've been using for thousands of years. And until like 1964, we, we put it in everything. And then in 1964, we found out it like dissolves parts of your brain if you in, like interact with too much of it. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand how bonkers industrialization has has been on human intake. <laughs> the lead ones, the lead ones like the perfect example. So many companies fought so hard to keep lead in things. Oh, this is bad for us? Welp. <laughs> yeah, basically. We can still make money off of it. We'll just pretend it doesn't. I mean, look at cigarettes. Cigarettes was kind of the same thing. Like, how many years they they propped up and propped up and propped up the concept that even doctors tell you cigarettes are good for you. Smoke more cigarette. Like, it's just out of control. Completely insane. And it wasn't until I think about the 60s when stuff started to get a little more calm. And then not until like into the 80s that things actually kind of stabilized and became pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Wolfstride 430 here on Twitch this Thursday, two days from now. Um, Saturday, we are continuing our playthrough of Cry of Fear. The first person horror module um, recommended by Ica. Oh, uh, Hildegeist recommended Wolfstride. And this this one, Cloud Punk, is just something I saw and thought was seemed interesting. Though it was nice to have the backup of Cardinal on that this is actually a very good module. Um, that will be at 3 o'clock here on Twitch. Uh, and of course, that is the immersive AKA no face cam horror stream. Um, and then the big thing, I guess. That should be go over and check out in the Discord, which you should be joining anyway. Um, is next Friday, not this coming Friday, next Friday, the 25th, Elden Ring drops. I'm going to attempt to do a 24 hour Elden Ring stream Friday, February 25th, 6 p.m. until <laughs> Saturday, February 26th, 6 p.m. You might be saying, well, that's an interesting time. Why is that? Well, because I f the time I usually start getting the tiredness is about 3 a.m. If I've been up all day. So if I take a nap after I get home from work on that Friday, God willing, I get home early and I can get an extra long nap. Then that 3 a.m. is going to roll around a little earlier than like the 21 hour mark. And then I'm going to start getting really tired the next day in the middle of the day. And then the sun will help me stay up. Hopefully. Plus, on Saturdays, I usually get done with my stream at 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. anyway. So it kind of works out as a double where I'm going to lose the horror stream, but you get 24 hours of watching me play Elden Ring, which hopefully it's good and not completely busted at launch. From Software usually does a pretty good job of not completely tanking their stuff on launch day, hopefully. And who knows? Maybe I'll be the first person to beat it on stream. I don't know. I doubt it. I, I like from software stuff. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm never going to promise I'm the best at it, though. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully it's not. It's not. It doesn't launch like Cyberpunk 2077 or something. Speed run it. Yes. I'm going to blind speed run Elden Ring in 24 hours. I'm sure that will go perfectly fine. This gigantic Breath of the Wild style, like meant to have hundreds of hours of play capability to, to you know, 100% it, and I'm going to speed run it blind in 24 hours. Totally doable. 100% doable. The only thing I'm worried about at this point, Ward, is I'm going to get to, like, hour 16, and I'm going to be stuck on a boss. I'm just going to be, like, slamming my head into the desk trying to get through this boss. And my brain is just not going to function well enough for me to actually pull that off anymore. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be like, I got to go wander around and play with a horse or something. I can't. I just can't focus enough anymore. That's the only thing I'm worried about at this point. Um, but, yeah. So, that's the big event. Uh, I guess mildly more detail over in the Discord. Um, but if you want to get caught up on any of the other stuff I'm talking about, Wolfstride, uh, the first, 
Just don't get hit. <laughs> get good, scrub. Um, Wolf Stride, uh, Cry of Fear, um, the uh, Going Under, which we finished last week. All that's over on the uh, YouTube repository, Raven Hillbrook Inc. Uh, Hillbrook is one word, I-N-C, over there. Uh, links are in the chat and on the info page. We also have uh, the Discord, which I've been mentioning quite a bit. Links for that are on the chat and the info page. Uh, general discussions, art, any kind of art you produce, um, water cooler jokes, uh, animal and pet pics stuff, um, and uh, uh, after hours spicy conversation. It's the perfect device for any module, even the one where you don't fight, because if you get hit in a module like that, what the heck did you do? I found a new way to play. Oh, God. I found a new way to play chess. Combat chess. Isn't combat chess just sword fighting? Shut your mouth! I'll combat chess your face. Um, but, uh, yeah. And then last but not least, we have the Twitter, at Hillbrook Inc. Again, Hillbrook is one word, I-N-C. Uh, schedule reminders, updates if there are changes, and messages from management to the board members. Um, I want to, th oh, uh, if you need a well thought out solution, you need a thinking solution, Raven Hillbook Inc. Thinking solutions. Uh, I want to thank all the board members for being here. Uh, Hildegeist, OSR, you both swing by. Thank you. Car uh, Cardinal of Exodus, thank you for stopping by. Ica, thank you for stopping by. Lady Zentra, thank you for stopping by running HR. Uh, thank you, Ica. You have a good night. Nice night too. Um, any of the lurkers, thank you all so much. It's always appreciated. You help the Twitch world go around. Anybody checks out the VODs here on Twitch. Thank you. And a bit checks out the VODs on the YouTube repository. Thank you. Oh, Cardinal, thank you. You have a good night also. Hope to see you all back on Thursday. If not, that's okay. You have a good one in general. Um, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go clock out. I'm actually pretty tired. Um, uh, yep, yeah, yes. I think that's it. That's it. I think that's it. All right. Bye.